Hello, everyone, and welcome to the live stream. Uh, I don't have a clever name this time. We're playing Earthborn. Earthborn Rangers recently announced it. I think it was last Tuesday the Kickstarter went live. That's right. Kickstarter went live, and I, uh, be honest with you, I, I backed it immediately. Yeah, I did. Uh, I, I backed it while we were on stream. They, they had, they, it was supposed to go live at like 10 or 11 in the morning. And I, so Earthborn Studios uh, is founded by Andrew Navarro. We, we go way back with him. And it's a co op expandable card game. Earthborn Rangers is the game. But uh, he is went to schedule to go live if you're unfamiliar. <laughs> last mm, Tuesday? Yeah, that's right. It's in the morning, season, yeah. and for whatever reason, it was not working. Kickstarter was yeah. uh, getting hung up. This has got to be the most terrifying moment of a Kickstarter campaign where you're clicking I, the button <laughs> and it's just spinning. It's and like you, you're trying to publish a product. You know, it's like, ah. You can imagine working on a project for a while. Yeah. And building to this moment <laughs> and finally ready to hit, show it to the world and hit the button. Been building the email list and telling everybody about it. And then that's just a devastating way to start. But ultimately, goes out to Andrew. It, it would start working in the afternoon, which is when we were live. That's why we backed it live while we were doing it, uh, which we're very excited about. So uh, we did play a very early version of this game. No art, no templating. Uh, I've heard a lot of things have changed. I see a map in front of me. I'm very excited about it. When we played it, it was awful. <laughs> we, we didn't know how to tell Andrew. Andrew. No, just kidding. Uh, but it was really, it was the first time at least I have been involved that, and not even involved, just seeing a game that early. Mm -hmm. Normally, we're kind of catching it at least when the, the thing is finalized yeah. in some form. Yeah. Um, so that was cool, and I, I'm excited to see how it's changed. I also have not really, uh, I think you've read the current iteration yeah, of the rulebook. Yeah, I've read the rules. I've read them a few times. I've got the campaign guide, so I'm going to take you on a journey through Earthborn, we're all going to get to learn this together. Which I'm excited about, because like, normally on Thursdays, I'm teaching. That's right. Teaching, that's right. Uh, in the loosest sense of the word. And, and you should know, so we're going to dive right into this, but the rules are not something that we're masters of. Like, this isn't like a, a learning video that we're saying, like, here, we've, we've learned everything. We're going to be learning this together. I, as I said, I've scanned the rules a few times. I know the basic function of everything, how everything works. Um, but there will probably be some questions along the way. I think Andrew's in the chat. Uh, so we can ask questions and anything that's confusing that comes up, we can all uh, figure that out together. And just welcome everybody. Uh, we're so glad to have you here watching and to, to take part in what we're doing. And if this is your first time watching, welcome especially. Uh, thank you for being here. We're, we're excited to have you. And if you showed up expecting Arkham Horror or Marvel Champions, <laughs> which we typically play on a rotation on Mondays, uh, we are taking a couple week break. <laughs> Um, to play Earthborn and to experience this game for the first time. So we'll, we will go back to that. I saw people uh, at the beginning of the chat saying, so I guess they're done streaming champions, uh, mm -hmm. which is just not the case. Well, that's every every week. I think we get that. Yeah. So um, I'm going to I'm gonna start by doing a top down. I just want to see the components we actually have for this demo, which I think is pretty uh, fascinating, just to kind of get a sense of what the, the cards are up to. So this is the top down. Now, now the first thing that, that's worth noting is this map. Right? So, like, there's two types of people. People who love maps. And then people that and, are insane. And people who who need a few more years on the planet. I, I feel like this is calling to, like, some deep DNA human thing where, like, this immediately sets the tone for me. So there's a map in the middle of CCG. It's, it's so similar. An old 90s game that I we threw back to during the pandemic and then I have since fallen in love with. And uh, the... The way it has a map, I adore. And dude, the way you build the, build the path deck is based. So you see on this map, you see how there's little landmarks in between the paths. Yeah, so like, it's like between a mountain, between like Lone Tree and Mount Nim. Yeah. there's a little mountains there. But you go through the mountains to get there. So down. then you pull the mountains into your mm -hmm. path deck, and that tells you what you're going to encounter through that. It's like insane. But here's the crazy thing: we have the we have the full map. Can we can we do the uh, zoom zoom out to like the big map? So this is the wait. The map gets bigger. This is the concept that they're working with. Yeah. So what we have, would you look at that? What we have is that tiny rectangle. And here's the other thing. This, this is, is like a mountain valley, right? And this whole thing is the valley. Those things on the the darker bits are the mountain mountains. Every everything that is in that rectangle is potentially travelable, explorable in a future campaign. You see, how it gets like dark on the sides. Uh -huh. I assume that's like either water or mountains. Oh, like really dark. Is, like is that like giant in? mountain no stuff idea. going on? I can't really actually see it for you. But yes, that's the idea. There's like, yeah, I think it's, there's mountain ranges on the outskirts and this is kind of in the valley. So what was crazy- so, so you're saying there's there's more planned than what's been revealed. <laughs> what's crazy to me about this is not only that we might get a number of campaign expansions that simply explore the valley further, but if you think about what happens when we go outside of the valley, because this is a tiny little space in the Rockies. So right. it's kind of like when we were growing up, 
this is Chelsea, our small town. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And the rest of the world is outside of that small town. So we spent a good 18 years exploring our small town. That's, that's exactly right. That's but exactly what I'm saying. If we're fortunate enough, perhaps if this campaign is successful enough, who knows how much of this map and the maps beyond this we could possibly explore. That, that's what gets me excited. It's like the early days of Star Wars, right? Whenever it's like, sure. what else is out there? When we you were know, all the optimistic and the possibilities were limitless. <laughs> the early days. All right, so let me, let me uh, while we're here, let me pull up a few different types of cards. So we talked about the path decks. I really think this is worth knowing. Um, so can we pull up like uh, Shale Scree, for instance? That's a, an example of a mountain card. It's worth noting too, I can see it here. I don't know if it's on the thing you'll see, but ours says concept art. So anything that's sketched it's in. all concept. There's a lot of placeholders too, because obviously this game's kickstarting. Um, we are playing uh, the game, so the rules, it's not like there's not a game that exists, but uh, there is going to be a fair amount of like concept art or sketches or not quite done. So if you're seeing this now, just be aware that this is not what you should expect when you actually get the game. It will, as far as we can tell, be actual art by the end of this. <laughs> uh, well, maybe if, not. Yeah. If Andrew and Evan can can push through. Uh, so what you'll notice, see in the bottom, the very bottom of this card, it says Mountain 12 of 12. So this is the way that the path deck pieces are going to work together. So we know that there's 12 mountain cards. So when you're traveling between locations and you have mountains in between them, you're going to grab all 12 of these mountain cards and they're going to play a part in the path deck that you're going to create to then have the challenge of, of getting to the location that you're at and engaging with it. Um, so we have an example of like mountains with shale scree. If you look at overgrown thicket, this is an example of a card that you would find whenever you're traveling a forest path. So right? this, this does evoke feelings of middle-earth ccg to me specifically oh, like it's spot on i made that it's not feelings man. kind of way to play solo where yeah. i had a deck for each type of region you could go through um so it, it's in, th that's what that means right so when the mountains are on the map i assume we're going to be getting some mountainy kind of cards that's correct it's basically where you i think it's where you traveled from or to like however you take your path and you can get there multiple ways mm -hmm. You can decide the path that you want to take, and that'll determine yeah. what your path deck okay. is. And then finally, uh, we've got Waterfront is another type of path. You'll see it actually, um, it's around White Sky Lake. Some. So if we look at like Romping Lutrinal, I just need to look I just it. want to show can the concept art while we yeah. can because I know it's not going to be finished at some point. Wow. It's going to be hilarious. I, I love it. So this is kind of a, um, now this is worth knowing. So people watching that aren't haven't been really intensely following. So this is set like thousands of years in the future. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna read a whole thing for okay. you. Okay. Right? Yeah. Um, so like this creature, the romping lutrinal, uh, it's a mammal. It's a being. Is a potentially a creature that we don't have today. Yeah. In today's times. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. My, I haven't seen a lutrinal in a hot minute. Um, so we've also got uh, some other types of cards that you'll see on the table here. And these are also cards that potentially get shuffled into the path deck. We've got some landmarks based on where we are in the map that'll get shuffled in or will become our main piece of adventure. And then we've got these guys. Like if we pull up, we've got them numbered especially so we can pull them up on the stream for you. But if you look at like Sun 1, um, this is an example of a challenge card. And so, you know, like in Arkham, whenever you pull a token out of the bag, it modifies okay. your result. So we have a token deck. So in this, it's like if we're doing an awareness test, it's zero. Okay. If you're doing a focus test, you get minus one on that test. And all these cards are different. So some of them have like minus twos in various places, mm. minus ones, plus ones. And is the range places, like plus one to minus two-ish? It gets what I've seen is plus one, minus two. And then some cards like Sun 4 here has a little uh, icon that means you shuffle the challenge deck back into itself. Oh, so I didn't know what that meant. I saw so that earlier and was wondering. I was just looking at that stack of cards. It actually. keeps the odds from getting too like obvious as yeah. to where your tests are going to yeah. be. Um, so that's how we're going to do tests, and we'll flip one of those randomly. We'll resolve it. And then my favorite thing about the game, which we, of course, will show, is that little sun icon would then trigger anything with that sun icon on the board. So if we go back to old romping uh, Lutrinol. The Lutrinol, yeah. Lutrinol. It has that sun icon. Yeah. So, so that's if, when if you take a fires. test, every time you test, it could fire any number of things it, on the board. It's like an indie role-playing game. Like, like the hip role-playing thing is that action only happens when the players are willing to put something on the line, when they're willing to take a test. Mm. Right? You know, so you the test not only this. is the thing you're trying to do, but it also could create a cascade of effects. That's right. <laughs> it like advances the clock, basically. Yeah. It kind yeah. of shows the day going I, by. You know, that's interesting, because I think about Arkham, um, which we uh, play a lot on Mondays, and the doom going on is the clock. Yeah. And the clock's going no matter what happens. That's right. But technically, if players weren't testing... Technically, you can not do a test. It you might draw not. A card, it might know. not clock. As much. Okay, yeah, you know, yeah. I'll keep my eyes open. Uh, and then finally, Zach and I both have uh, characters that are pre-built uh, that that Andrew sent over to us, and I'm playing the exceptional tinkerer. This is a role 
And there are different roles in the game that you can be in that give you access to one of these abilities. But here's what you need to really, really understand. Tell me. I need to know. This is the information I've been waiting for. I know, because like character creation to me is is everything. Like I, I, I've spent hundreds of hours of my life creating role playing characters that never got played. Oh, absolutely. But you know, you just you want to you want to make something. Even I have spent hundreds yeah. <laughs> of hours making role playing characters that never got played. So so here's how this works. You're going to essentially take a certain pile of cards based on your deck building, not your deck building, but your character creation decisions. So let me let me find this in the rule book. Now, technically, you know, we're not doing this now, but I think it's really important. These were uh, to built see. for us, basically. But so in a, I'm, I'm going to give game, you a little sneak peek. We would make some big decisions. A little sneak peek on character creation here. Okay. So on, on this creating your ranger thing, here's what we do. So the first thing we can choose our aspect values. And so if you look at this, if you look at like the um, Tinker Artificer, Tinker uh, stat card, I believe is what you guys have over there. Yeah, John. So rather than like rolling up for your stats, you're going to choose one of these cards. And they have various uh, allocations of one, two, and three, as far as we can tell. And and this could go, you could go wild with this in the future. You could have a five zero, you could have a four one. You know, there's a, a bunch of really interesting sure. ways you can make this card. Uh, Fascinating. It's kind of classic card game math, right? Which is currently, at least my 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 stat card uh, adds up to eight. I assume yours does the same thing. Yep. And the number of ways you can make eight work on four stats. There's a lot. Is high. There's actually a lot, including the person that is completely aware at eight. Oh and then yeah. Zeros everywhere else. Nothing. Can't even walk. Yeah. Just you can carry him yeah, around. Yeah, He'll be like a, a spirit <laughs> essence. It's like. <laughs> It's not fit, not focused. Anyways. I would love to play a spirit in this yeah. game. That's I guess they would cool. also need some spirit. So like four a, and four, maybe. Uh, on spirit slash whatever. Situation. It's like old Ben's ghost. <laughs> um, all right, so then you choose your background. Now, check this out. So you actually walk through this okay, process. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Stat choose your card. aspect card. Choose your so, stat and that's card. completely unconnected from everything yeah, else. Yeah, unconnected. Now, I would. you could choose that at the end, I imagine, too. It doesn't impact the creation. So you could okay. like build a story and then be like, okay, here are my stats yeah. to go with. So, you know, like in a role-playing game, this would a lot of times be like rolling your stats. That's right. And then a lot. I, what I remember, and I have very little RPG experience. Back in the back in the days of the band bus. Yeah, you roll your stats in an RPG, and then you basically start choosing things about your character. Yeah. So you know what your strength is or your intellect before you start doing stuff. Or if you're like me, you build the entire thing and then you roll at the end, and then you're like, well, <laughs> this guy obviously had you know super high charisma based on the fact that yeah. he's a prince from you know and whatever. You know, I assume players could randomize this; they could choose. They can choose before, they can choose after. The whole thing. thing. You do whatever you want. So you choose your aspect values, but then you choose your background. And so, like, I think if I were introducing this to people, they wouldn't know what they're getting into. Just say, here, here's the question. Do you want to be an artisan? Do you want to be a forager? Do you want to be a shepherd? Or do you want to be a traveler? So there's four currently. There's, there's currently four backgrounds. Okay. Uh, artisan, in your early life, you worked on a specialized craft in one of the villages scattered throughout the uh, wilderness. You know your way around gear and how to work with your hands. Okay. Okay. Or do you want to be a shepherd? In your early life, you worked with animals. You have a natural affinity for creatures tame and wild. You know, so like... I know a lot of people that are going to love that. So you get an idea here. But then here's what you do. So depending on what you choose in your background, it's like, okay, I want to be an artisan. Then you have a number of cards available to you that you immediately pick five of them, two copies each. Okay. So that builds 10 cards into your deck based on your background. So it's kind of like a class. You're, you're choosing this background. You said background. Background. So check out, um, like, let's say I chose Artisan's a good one to choose here. I think what, that's right. What is the one you are? So let's look at Universal Power Cells. Let's pull this guy up. So you see in the bottom left corner of Universal Power Cells, there's Artisan 05 of 09. Okay. Right. So there's nine different artisan cards. Presumably. So there are nine choices I make there, and I choose five of those and leave four behind. Okay. So it's it's not like um, I, I picture like Marvel Champions. You choose an aspect, and then it's all of these cards get picked. There's literally a fixed number, fixed. and yeah. we can always see more added in the future, right? So by the end of the game, if it gets a million expansions, there might be six thousand artisan cards, and you choose five. That's what I was curious about. Yeah. If if that because if labeling it X of nine makes me think. It could be fixed. That it would be fixed, but I, you know. Or you introduce new backgrounds, you're just, depending yeah, on where that's you what, are that's in the valley and those kinds of things. But then, after you choose your background, you choose your specialty. So then your specialty can be artificer, constable, explorer, or shaper. So like uh, artificer, you're dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge and technology of past civilizations and new discoveries of the natural world. Mm -hmm. Or let's say explorer, you're dedicated to exploring the wilds of the valley. You're skilled at charting new paths and overcoming obstacles. So let's say I chose so your, Artificer like I did here. Your background is more like your history. That's right. 
and then your specialty is more like your career choice. Yeah, kind of what what you're what you're into as yeah. a person, you know. Yeah. So like artifice here. Look at this carbon forged cable. Um, this is six of fourteen. So there are fourteen artificer options. I get to choose five when I choose that as my specialty. Okay, you get one of each. You get multiple. Well, so you choose five unique cards and get two of each. Again. So there's no like one of or two of. You get two of the card that you choose. Okay. So the so ten more cards. The background is ten cards. Mm -hmm. The specialty is ten cards. That Correct. You're That's right. All right. Then, it, not to be outdone, you choose your personality. Uh, personality is still being worked on in the rule book, but basically there are uh, a number of different personalities, and you select four unique cards from that set based on your personality. Here we just have like the kind of the prototype personality two of sixteen on something like balanced. So 16 options for this given personality trait, uh -huh, and uh -huh. I choose four of them. Four of them. So that's a quarter. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. when you think about the combination of all these different background, role, specialty, et cetera. Even just four different backgrounds, four different specialties, four different, what's the other one? Background, specialties, personalities. And personalities. And then you got your role, which gives you access to a certain ability. So mixing all of that, Yes. Without even the cards being in question yet, the combinations are high, huge, yeah, Tr tremendous, and it gets it kind of gets over that um, that analysis piece of deck building where you, you do pick that in Marvel Champions. Here's all the cards you could run. I'm a new player, like, yeah, I'll try. But this is like it's very focused on a story. And you can say, oh, I want to be balanced. I want to like have this cool cable, and you don't really know, um, you don't really know like what that's going to do to impact your ability to play the game. But it just it just leads you to create a character and an interesting personality rather than uh, just yeah. a min max deck, right? And then finally, this is a cool step. So then you choose an outside interest, and this is basically one card from anywhere. You can have a one of two copies, yeah. one thing that your specialty Which, is, you know. You know, like maybe you weren't a shepherd, but you have a dog. You have you have the shepherd, yeah. So like yeah, you don't have any of that stuff, but then you bring the dog online. Yeah. So cool. Yeah, and you know <laughs> this stuff drives me crazy. Yeah, one of in that case could could be very foundational to how your deck plays. That's just, I mean, it's yeah. just nuts to me. Or you know, maybe your dad was a shepherd and he has some staff that you like to carry around. Yeah. And like, I mean, you the, have this tool, but no one else. It's yeah. just endless stories, man. Okay. It's so right. cool. Okay. So that's how you build a character, but now, we have pre-built characters. You're, you're teaching me how to play the game and build decks and all this stuff and all this. How do I win? Oh, uh, you don't. I mean, really, Andrews was explicit. He said you don't win, and you just sit around and you know just sit, want just sit tea. read read text and whatnot. No, we, we will get to that. So we will be on a main mission. We'll be trying to do something, and then we'll work towards that okay. goal together. All right. Um, so let's go through the setup. There's four steps we're going to follow here, and then we're going to the campaign guide, and then we'll get started. We'll be playing the game, okay? Just like that. So first, we set up our player areas. So let's clear these things off and keep them in their respective stacks. Does this need to stay around or kind of slide I think this? We, I think, I don't know, I kind of want it to be around. You want it to be around? I like it. I, like I just didn't map. know if it was like I how. To be here. I'm going to put it in the corner if that's OK. Challenge card, everything can be out of here. I okay. want to do something to reduce. Reduce the, the curve? Yeah, well, it's because the lights it. are glaring off of it. You know. do, do, you have any, uh, do you have any, do you have an iron? Handy? <laughs> I, a little wet you know towel? What? As a matter of fact, I don't. <laughs> Is that right? All right, okay. so place your aspect card, roll card, and universal action reference card. Okay, aspects is our stats. Our role here is exceptional tinkerer for me, and then universal actions. And I, I'm the peerless pathfinder. That's right. So I'll be doing this. Even in the far future, they don't know how to invent sunglasses. I know. Well, it looks like there's something that could go over the eyeballs on the I'm shadow wearing it. of the hand. I just have. Oh it. yeah, you're just, just you're just lazy. Just being That's, cool, you know. Yeah, the future well, doesn't prevent fair, us from laziness. To be fair, I do. Uh, I do wear glasses. Uh, I wear contacts mostly, but I also have glasses. And there are moments where you just don't want it on your face. That's true. So true. You know, maybe I got tired and I was like, uh, <laughs> I've had enough of this. Oh, help! Draw a starting hand. So we're going to shuffle up these decks, Zach, and we're going to draw six cards. And is everything here supposed to be in my deck? Yes. I want to make sure. Yeah, you, you, you built a character. Let's look at the card backs on these two. Yeah. You see these card backs? They're ridiculous. And these are, these are like Kinko's grade I, nonsense. Side note, th these were these aren't like uh, you know typical card stock. These seem like they're printed uh, like Kinko's. And the fact that they also put the card backs on them is a level of appreciation. Look at that. They just popped on the screen. Yeah, that. isn't that beautiful? Um, 
I, this is a concept. That stuff. really is a nice. T- I, I appreciate that. If you're out there, Andrew, uh, that was something that didn't have to be done. But man, am I happy that it was. Okay, so we're gonna shuffle these up. Something we've done, my gosh, so many times in our lives. You and I shuffling cards at the same time is probably we've probably done that way more often than we've uh, even talked to each other. Honestly, it's like, I don't know. Insane. A lot of times, shuffling is followed by hours of playing games <laughs> where you're not true. really shuffling the whole time, <laughs> unless you're playing. That kind of game, Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> shuffling. Constantly. You want to search your deck and shuffle <laughs> half the time. All right, then we're gonna elect the. So draw six cards out of this. I'm gonna take them right from the top here. Six. I'm six sure cards. there's a lot of equations done to decide that number. Oh yeah, no Mulligan. So that's something we don't have to remember that. Get out of town. Elect the. Don't even look at him. Elect the lead ranger. It's you. Together, we're gonna choose a ranger to be the lead. They're gonna draw the first path card at the end of the refresh phase, and there are also card effects that will occasionally call for action to be taken by the lead ranger. All right, I'll do it. Okay, so you're gonna be the lead. I am ranger. the explorer. Then we're gonna shuffle the challenge deck. So go ahead and take this and give that a shuffle. That's our randomizer that's gonna tell us whether we succeed or fail, uh, assuming that that's something that you actually can do in the game. I'm I'm giving Andrew so many hilarious jabs that n- most people would not even Pick know. Up on. Okay, so check this out. So uh, stick with me here, everybody. Just stick with me. Is here. it story time? It's a it's a light story time because I think it. it's going to set the narrative for what we're into here. First of all, heavily inspired by Dune here. It's got the little notes on the history of the third and fourth millennia. This is composed by Lore Lord of the Second Council to Shalas Sidiq, Third Cycle, 8433LR. So, so what I know now is that we're in Alienville. That's right. Or that's the next Game Genie code that you need to remember, mm. basically. So here's the, here's the setting. 2,500 years ago, and this is, again, from this Lore Lord. So, so 2,500 sort of, years ago from the time of this writing. From the time of 8433LR. 2,500 years ago, the world balanced on the brink of destruction. The Great Calamities, all cast there, pollution, starvation, the ravages of a radically changing climate, threatened to shatter our ecosystem and leave our world a blasted wasteland. It appeared that humanity had finally succumbed to the tragic but unsurprising end of self-imposed extinction. Right? I, I, I I can get into that. Achievement unlocked. But in the face of certain death, people did the one thing nobody expected. They pulled together. Led by a figure known as the Guide with a couple of uh, footnotes here that we'll get to. The disparate peoples of Earth began to heal their grievously wounded planet. To do so, they began the Great Generational Projects. All right. These projects were monumental feats of engineering, practical biology, and chemistry, requiring decades of work from millions of people. In short, the greatest undertakings in all of human history. They filled the Mesepian Sea, unfurled the Lagrangian shades to cool the Earth, built the towering carbon stacks and carefully bred the kilometers long beasts known as terravores that still slowly crawl across the land consuming centuries worth of refuse. Mm. They did all of this and much more. So they created creatures to go eat all of the <laughs> Yeah, let's the get garbage. to work everybody, right? Yeah. Sounds good. All right. However, these projects were aptly named. The simplest took decades to complete while the greatest could only be completed over centuries of labor. They knew it would take a thousand years or more for our world to heal, so our ancestors built great arcologies to shelter them from the ravages of the worsening climate. To their massive enclosed cities they retreated, to wait out the storm of storms so that their descendants may one day walk freely upon the earth. Sounds like a Netflix show, honestly. You know, they all have all these weird, like, they were in a spaceship for a thousand years and they came back down to earth and then they were fine and, you know, you've seen all that. I pictured it as like, uh, what was the A word you said? Arcology? Excuse me. Yeah, arcology, yeah. (laughs) I pictured it as like, uh, you know, hidey holes. Yeah. It's like we went into the... That's basically it. Yeah. What what is that? What's that train show? Ice, ice scraper? Anyway, I don't know. You probably haven't seen it. It worked. No. The earth healed and although the land had undergone great change, our biosphere reached a new equilibrium. By this time, the mechanisms that sustained the arcologies began to fail, and our ancestors were compelled to venture forth into a world untouched by human hands for more than a thousand years. That's cool. Pristine. The ancestors who left those arcologies were quantifiably more introspective and aware than those who founded them. The countless cultures that had evolved in the past millennia and would evolve in the millennia to come agreed on one thing. The health of the earth, the wellspring of all life, could not be risked again. The societies that eventually resettled our planet are wildly diverse, but they all share a sense of mindfulness and a drive to live in harmony with the world instead of apart from it or above it. 
Some have eschewed all the technological expertise of our ancestors, while others, among whose number we lore lords are counted, try to find a balance entwining the triumphs of the world that came before with the world we live in today. So they go into the archaeologies. Yeah. And they stay there for a thousand years. Yeah. And then they come out. And they come out and they're like, should we do Arby's again? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I mean, they the, don't even know what Arby's is anymore, right? Well, you know, they're, they're trying to merge the old and the new. So but you can imagine. Give up all of it, really. Just really, let's go there for a second. If a bunch of groups of humans went into separate places yeah. and were completely disconnected. Yeah. No internet. No, any of that kind of thing. No That's cultural, right. you know, just traveling and all that kind of stuff. And they come out a thousand years to a kind of reborn Earth. Yeah. And then, you know, they're humans. Culture inside of their little pocket develops and changes and technology and whatever is going on in there. That's right. It's so fascinating to think about. Then they walk out. And so, like, presumably we in the, what's the name of the valley we're in? The valley. The valley. Um are either descendants, I don't know yet, it came out of one of these things. I Presumably. don't want to take away from the story. But then you can imagine how different each group would be at that point. Very different. Yeah. Exceedingly different. Like you said. Yeah, but some, they apparently have a shared value. Some people are like, ah, we don't need technology anymore. You know, like mm. the, I think of the like Brave New World, you know. and, yeah. and Or some of them are like, no, we need it. And then some of them are like, well, we don't necessarily want to get away from everything that we once had. We just want to integrate it in a more sustainable way. You know, and, and I'm sure that conversation spirals onward. Um, the world we live in today is very different than the Earth of two millennia past. The spectacular ruins of the great machines of those generational projects still dot the landscape, and they stand as a testament to the ingenuity of our ancestors. Some of the machines still function, operating to some unknowable purpose, best left undisturbed. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a machine running, and you have no idea what it's there for? But you're like, we can't, well, you don't want to turn it off. I mean, that happens it's like all going the time. into the server room, you know? It's like, wow. Yeah, you, I mean, even just picturing being at like Gen Con or something, you walk into the wrong room at that convention center, it's like, I know this is making all of this work, yeah, I but I don't, I, I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> I just don't know how. Uh, any mountain or ridge may hide the cavernous halls of an abandoned arcology within, and while our ancestors would recognize some of the creatures that populate this world, they would find others marvelously strange. The fruits of genetic crafting as our ancestors attempted to prevent mass extinctions and breed new species to fill ecological niches. So the geography of the earth itself has changed. New seas fill the broad expanses of river plains. Mountains have grown and shrunk. The climates have shifted across the globe. Even our very sun looks dif different as the vast Lagrangian shades create shifting patterns and shadows upon its face. Our ancestors gave us a gift of incomparable significance when they rescued us from extinction. Now this new world is ours to embrace. What do you think about that? Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. So uh, then we get a little, there's a little uh, brief discussion on the valley from the auto scribe of Rin Kobo, Mesepian envoy, master of commerce, third skiff of the Sunray Flotilla, spring 4441 CR. Well, what was the... 8,000 something, and then it was 2,500 years we had ago. 8433 LR, and this is 4441 CR. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What could that possibly mean? Well, you just send, yeah, I don't know, but I'm interested. Uh, after many weeks of travel, I've arrived. I activated my autoscriber upon arrival to capture the details of the education I received from the man I met upon my arrival at the headquarters, the Renown Ranger of the Valley. So this is like the, the guy, ah, come on in. Hello, hello, come in, hang your oil skins on the hook there. Try to brush the snow off them if you could. And weather like this, I like to keep my place as dry and warm as I can. Looks like the snow is not gonna let up anytime soon, so I doubt you'll be making it through the northern passes. Guess you'll be staying in the valley until spring. You don't know me. What's the valley? Well, the valley isn't a valley so much as a lot of valleys and fields and forests encircled by mountains. It stretches from the highland meadows north of us all the way down to the edge of the southern range where the mouth of the valley overlooks the Verdessa. There's a waterfall there so tall and beautiful it'll take your breath away. It's sheltered by mountains on three sides and the widest and deepest jungle you'll ever see on the fourth. My young ancestors found their way here by way of the Bitter Pass, same as you, about a century ago, give or take a decade. They journeyed west to White Sky Lake, then followed the Silverfin River down until they came to a tall green hill encircled by water. They were drawn there by the biggest spire of nanoforged carbon I've ever seen, so tall it can scrape the clouds on a stormy day. The people decided to settle there, or rather, the land invited them to settle there, so they did. We call that village Spire, as mm -hmm. is our fashion, you know? 
No need to get very, fancy. Very creative people here. In the last hundred years, we spread out a bit. Spire is a hub of civilization now and one you may want to visit if you're going to winter in the valley. Sounds like we might. It's warmer there too, but there's also a white sky, the fishing village perched in the middle of the water on the southern end of the lake. Mm -hmm. The fresh seared lake fish they serve there, every waning gibbous is amazing. Try to be there if you can. <laughs> All right, remember that. Hold on. Yeah. I'm gonna need a, what do you mean winning or losing? I want to get to the fish fry. I know. You know what I'm saying? I, I need a journal because it's like it said when the something in gibbous. Yeah, the waning the waning gibbous. They, and they what do I need the, to try in the gibbous? You got a, the seared lake fish. They sear them up on the waning gibb. Okay. I don't like fish in real life, but I can like it in the game. <laughs> this is the power yeah, of This is part point. of my character. I like fish. <laughs> I figure like uh, seared, what is it? <laughs> fish. <laughs> Hold on. Let me make a real note. <laughs> Further south, the valley opens up in a grassland and forest. You'll find more settlements down there if you stick to the path. Meadow is a herding community, mostly rearing iron wool sheep and stilt horses. Branches tucked into the deeper woodlands. In fact, their homes are built into the canopy and around the trunks of the biggest trees. You can walk through the forest for days and never realize that there were people above your head. It's something else. I mean, I... Don't you just want to go to all these places immediately? Yeah. Unfortunately, we won't be alive when this is happening. You could you could walk through the forest for days, as I said, and never realize they're above your head. The shapers who bent the fiber of the trees are true luminaries, and there's the flight seekers of Plateau, which stands out from a cliff face to the northwest of here. It takes a certain lack of inhibition to climb those cliffs. Only do it if you have the right guide or the right equipment. You can always take the spider line to the top from the ranger station to the north. The spider line? Being... I feel like I'm playing King's Quest right now. Um, I gotta you... get the rattle to get that snake you ever, out of the You ever go to uh, Bell's Amusement Park as a kid? I did, yes. The What what was the thing that you just mentioned? The skyline? Yeah, the skyline, yeah. It reminds me of that thing you used to take that oh, would go 100%. over, you know? 100%, man, yeah. Uh, and there's I'm gonna there's a couple more paragraphs on this. There's a monastery up near Spire. You probably won't be able to go there. They like solitude, of course. And mm -hmm. Maybe we'll be out adventuring. And then finally, what's this place? Oh, apologies. Well, I should have explained. This is Lone Tree Station, where the Valley's Rangers live and work. Okay, right here on the map. That's right. It's right there. Uh, our Rangers keep the Valley safe, looking out for trouble and helping folks wherever they can. I used to be one, in fact, but after 20 years, I hung up my cloak. Now I run this little tavern here in the roots of our big old tree, keeping our rangers and travelers like you fed and healthy. But if you stay around, I'm sure we'll meet a couple of rangers soon. Now let's see about getting you a place to stay for the night. So here we go. There's a description of the valley. It's a secluded location in what was once the Colorado Rockies, more recently known as the Estian Mountains. And there's a whole bunch of stuff to explore here. So then it says, demo start. This is for us. Welcome to the demo for Earthborn Rangers. This is going to be our guide, etc. We have two choices in how to play this demo. Already, we're here. We're in Choiceville. Yeah. We'll let the lead ranger decide. Yep. For your first playthrough, we recommend that you play a set mission. However, if you're just interested in exploring the small section of the world in this demo without the pressure of a mission, you can just explore and see what you find. So to play with a set mission, go to entry 02 to explore the valley without a set goal. Well, go to number three. I we got to go to I'm, lead I'm, ranger. I'm keen to just follow the recommendation. Not give Andrew a heart attack, you mean? What do you think? And actually follow the mission that he has loved me out for us. Yeah, ah, like, nah, forget funny. about the missions. <laughs> but it is cool that you can do that, right? You can just yeah. like wander around. And see it's kind of like, uh, <clears throat> what was that in? I think there was one of the Batman Arkham Knight games. It was just like, you can either do the thing or you can just go start punching people and you figure out how to play. Around, and yeah. that's what I did, yeah. Of course. Uh, okay, so 002, this, this demo is going to emulate the content from roughly two play sessions into the core set, Earthborn Rangers Narrative Campaign, Season of Re Rebirth. But this demo has been tuned to avoid any spoilers for the plot. Like okay. big spoilers for the plot are, are avoided. Yeah, so this is so you guys can all watch and not spoil your experience. What we're playing now, if you're watching this before the game actually comes out, uh, is not what you would play when you open the core set. That's correct. Or the is it called the core set? Ah, uh, yeah, call the starter. It the core set, whatever. the starter, whatever. Yeah, I don't need three of them. That's all that I know. Uh, so, in your hypothetical first couple campaign sessions, you joined the Rangers and completed one or two short missions to get to know the landscape and help the community. So, we're officially Rangers now. At the end of your last session, you arrived at the village of White Sky, a collection of structures erected above the surface of White Sky Lake. There's White Sky right there on the map. Beautiful, beautiful location. Since you finished your previous day there, you recorded White Sky as your ending landscape on your campaign tracking sheet. I'm just going to so yeah, keep that in Indian mind. Ending landscape. So that was our, so basically if we ended White the last session Sky. at White Sky, that means we're going to start this one at White Sky. So we started at Lone Tree. We did some basic ranger mm -hmm. stuff, became rangers. Some and then ba we, just basic ranger stuff. We yes. ventured yeah. over here to White Sky. Yeah. And if Gibbous is going on, we got to have the fish. <laughs> we could. 
Thank you, Zach. Yes, for clarifying that for. Our I think I think I've without knowing much of anything. I think I've decided the character actually just really likes food, <laughs> and so if there's ever an opportunity to do something inefficient, but for the sake of having good food for or the, trying good food, for the sake of the culinary, just remember I'm going to make <laughs> unoptimal plays because my character likes food. I like where your head's at. Yeah. Okay, then it instructs us put the white sky landscape card into play in our surroundings. So here's our white sky landscape card. We're going to put that into play here. I'm going to put this over here. And let me actually, I'll get all these off screen so we don't get confused. I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm kind of using this deck of, uh, what do we call this deck? With the, the That's fun a challenge deck. Challenge deck yeah. to hold down the map. Okay. So White Sky is here, but what you guys will see, um, uh, if you pull up, like let's say pull up uh, Golden Shore. So there's 40 Valley Landmarks landscape cards in here. 40. So presumably there's 40 notable places that we can end up on in the in the, out of the core set or even just in the demo i guess and these places aren't necessarily just like the ones listed on this map right i don't i don't know and we got golden shore right there we've got mount him up there uh and these are probably just for the demo so probably just in this map we've got lone tree we've got so White that's where Sky, the rest of that map comes in atrox mountain etc yeah. yeah so these are all the different landscapes. So we start at White Sky because that's where we ended. You can't be somewhere you didn't end. And then upon arriving, we learned that a young girl you met in the first session or mission by the name of Quissy Vaz has gone missing. Okay. You recorded the mission search with the subject Quizzy Vaz on your campaign tracking sheet. Say that again. Quizzy Vaz, Q-U-I-S-I, V-O-S. And what would I record about her? Uh, she's missing. MIA, okay. Uh, That's our mission, I assume. Uh, missions with subject attached to them affect specific people or places in the valley. So we put the search mission card. There it is. Search. Into play in the surroundings. And then we search the landmark cards for Quissy Voss and put her attached to it. So then I'm going to look through here. And I, I had it earlier, and I probably put it someplace weird. And then we're going to attach her face down to this, uh, to this site. So that's kind of going to be, as far as I can tell, here she is. So the Quizzy Boss card, I'm not going to look at it too much. Yeah, it's kind of like an Arkham. You just don't want to see the character, Put but you face know down. Around. So this is our mission. So we're doing a search, and this is the thing that we're searching for. So it's going to go underneath there, face down. OK, okay. done. Get these out of the way. OK, she's attached to the mission, does not count as being in play. As you prepare your search, ominous clouds threaten to open up and unleash a torrent of rain. The weather card determines the difficulty of your play session. Each day on the campaign tracker has a recommended weather for that day. But players who want more or less of a challenge can choose to change what weather they're using. For this demo, you'll be hiking in the rain. Mm. So we're going to put the downpour weather card into play in our surroundings. So we've it's got not a, just raining, it's pouring. We've got a, we've got a downpour. Thank you. Wow. That's exactly right. <laughs> I mean, it's a, I, I use this example a lot, but we grew up in Oklahoma. We have real thunderstorms. Yeah, those gully washers, like loud, toad stranglers. Lots of rain, yep. lightning. God, you don't want to go out in it. Yeah, all at once. And you hear all, our entire lives, it rains every day in Seattle. But it's just really, I went to Seattle the first time, and it's just misting. Um, that's what, this is not just like Seattle rain. No. This is Oklahoma rain. This is Oklahoma rain. This is a downpour. Okay. Like I said, a genuine toad strangler. Finally, you'll create the path deck for your starting location. Normally, that deck is based on the terrain of the path you traveled on. Okay. But since this is your starting location, we can choose any terrain type matching the path leading to this location. So there's the watery one. So and we're in, there's yeah, the tree state. one. So we can get there. We can technically do there. Or there's a mountain here if we came up that because well, it's connected. We came from here. Can I, yeah, technically, that's right, if you so, want to be real. So we suggest waterfront is going to be the uh, the suggested thing, so let's do that. Let's do that. So we've got waterfront here, 12 cards that are there. So we'll create that using the waterfront and then white sky path cards because we're at white sky. So you see this thing called the bubble? I'm going to try not to, I'm going to try not to read it. But it has landmark white sky under here. Mm -hmm. There's three of these. So I'm Let's gonna, go in the deck. I'm going to put these in the path deck as well. So we basically, we have a location that we're at, which is white sky, which adds cards to the deck. We yeah. have the path that we went on, which adds cards to the deck. Yeah. We have weather, which is kind of determining the difficulty. Yeah. And then we have this search. This is our mission, which has key stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, which I don't know how any of this functions yet, but I'm excited to know. Well, that makes two of us. 
<laughs> I'm glad uh, I'm in good company. Then perform all initial setup by performing the setup steps on the back of the white sky landscape. The back says simply draw a path card. So the only setup we do to be at white sky is we start with one path okay. card in play. Simple enough. Uh, and that concludes uh, set, then perform all initial setup by performing the setup steps on the back of white sky and placing four tokens on downpour. So it has four rain here. So we need basically four tokens. You want to die? I've got to die or we can use fancy tokens. I don't know. I'm kind of a token man myself. I, I like tokens. We've got all sorts of tokens floating around here, as you'd expect. These look kind of rainy. Yeah, those are totally rainy. We use those little key forgies. Cool. It's a sci-fi rain right there. Huh? Very cool. You need four of them, right? Four of them. Right, I'm just going to leave these here. Done. OK. Someone was asking uh, if these cards were printed large, uh, saying that it looks a little bigger than Arkham and Champions. They're standard. No. They're normal standard sleeves. size. And then uh, they're someone, cut someone else said, like Kinko's, yeah. perhaps Steven and Zach just have tiny hands. <laughs> I don't know. I do have small hands. I do have small hands as well. Mm. These hands were made for streaming. <laughs> they stay out of the way of the content. That's right. We were destined for this. <laughs> That's how I knew. We have small hands. We must be destined for we're, this. Yeah, we're definitely going to be streaming. Okay, okay there's there's uh, our challenge cards. You can put those somewhere fancy. And then we're going to draw one path card. Okay. And it is a fresh blue kelp weed. Okay. So a couple of things are going to happen here. Um, on flesh blue kelp weed, you see it here. We got it. We got it pulled up. Yeah, we got it pulled up. So to, on the top right, you see this little zero, uh -huh. and then to the left of it is that little arrow. Oh yeah, yeah. So this tells us if it's along the way or within reach. Okay. So basically, is it like in the environment or is it up close? Or to is us? it up in the? You know what I'm saying? Is it up in us basically? And then uh, we've got progress, and then uh, what, like damage this, tokens. This as is well. progress over here. I'm, the blue I'm the stat? pretty certain that's correct. Yes. And then we got this little stat, which we'll get to whenever it's relevant. I'm going to clear off all the rest of these cards because we don't need them. But ooh, the things we might do. Okay. Then uh, perform all initial setup. We've got the rain that concludes. You're ready to dive into the first game and discover what's happened to Queasy. 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 Okay. Get these out of here. So now let's start by covering our universal actions. So this is something that we can always do. It's our universal actions card here. Okay, good. So first thing we can always do is we can do a fit test, and we add any little compass icons from our from our hand. If you see in your hand, you got this little like uh, infusion canteen. So okay. it's got a little thing there. So that so, like that matches that little navigate icon. If we want to buff this test, any of our fitness stat or anything that has that icon on the card, we can yeah. contribute to get a point towards the test. This is called traverse. This is traverse. So we traverse, and I love that how they did this. Traverse the nearby terrain to add progress equal to your effort to a landscape or feature. If you fail, suffer one injury. So we can add some progress here. It looks like this is two per ranger to go to okay. the to conclude. So if we get four progress here, boom. Then what happens? We we can uh, we can travel and, and do some fun things there. So anyway, this is kind of this is kind of what we want to do. But a lot of times you don't necessarily want to leave or go somewhere else because yeah. like we're here to find this person. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the fish. The <laughs> fish. <laughs> I'm not the fish. <laughs> Because <laughs> we're here for the fish fry, and we haven't revealed. I gotta it see yet. if it's give us or not. We can also do a spirit test plus any heart okay. uh, modifiers that, yeah. to connect with the life around I was you. I say very empathetic. Yeah. Yeah. To so kind of like do a little archon moment. Either add progress equal to your effort to a being. So some beings, I think, are going to come out, and we're going to want to like progress mm -hmm. creatures them of to some talk kind to them or whatever. Uh, or we can sue the fatigue from any ranger. Don't know what fatigue is, but healing. We got the healer it'll be, in mind. It'll be a light heal. That's right. And fatigue is kind of the, uh, as you do things, you lose cards from your deck, but you can get them back by soothing fatigue. Okay. Okay. Then we've got focus plus triangle symbol. We can remember our ranger training. What? What's the name? Do you know the name of that triangle to symbol? To draw a card. The, like infinite triangle thing. Um, so I have a... The <laughs> general name? I have a meditation pillow. It's got that, that logo <laughs> yeah, on it. I just figured out what the card was. It's hilarious. It's got that, uh, you know, permanent triangle thing. Anyways, we'll come back to that later. Someone in chat will know. So we can focus, uh, remember, etc., to draw a card. Smart. So just basically spend this focus token. You probably don't need to contribute to that test because effort doesn't matter. But you might have cards in your hand that say during a focus test, you could do something, and then yeah. that would work, uh, to draw a card. And then we have awareness 
uh, plus the uh, the koi pond symbol. Uh, it looks like two koi fish, a little uh, yin yang situation like, going on there. I have this card called Breathe Into It. Mm -hmm. It has that logo on it. That's right. That's my interpretation, at least. Again, very. It, even my interpretations are concept. Yeah. Well, I, I think we found the fish. <laughs> That's right. I'm just kidding. Just take that test forever. We can observe the behavior of those around us to exhaust one being. So we could exhaust something that's out here in, in the middle of us. X on that one is equal to the presence of the card with which we're interacting to a minimum of one. So anything that comes out is going to have a presence, and that's going to tell us kind of the difficulty of the test to observe it. Sometimes things are hard to observe, yeah. like foxes. Yeah. They say they're I, fast. There was we were, we were once we were spinning a tale about a, a fox god at one time, it, which is neither here nor there. Uh, but the one uh, the one so trait the one trait of the fox god is you never see the fox god when he's not already seeing you. It's like the uh, inverse of the ghost in Mario. <laughs> Precisely. They only move when you're not looking. Precisely. <laughs> That's exactly right. Okay, a couple of quick rules here. Each round, the rangers push deeper into their current landscape, discovering how new beings and features in the valley are around them. Starting with the lead ranger, we're going to draw one path card per ranger. So that's the first thing we do. We draw one path card per ranger. So that's, this? Uh, if you haven't noticed, two path cards that we're going to draw. Go and do Don't that. do it yet. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Then we're going to take ranger turns. That's the bulk of the game. During that uh, step, each ranger takes separate turns. There's no limit to the number of turns a ranger can take each round, the round being the full. Uh, so turn, 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 mm -hmm. until we're done with taking turns. That's right. As Simon and Garfield, is that Simon and Garfield turn every season turn? It's a good joke if it is. <laughs> you decide as a group which ranger takes the first turn, and following that, rangers can take their turns in any order. If you're the only ranger still taking turns, a different ranger must go after you. After you finish your turn, rather. So you can't like stack things in between mm, each other. Mm -hmm. You can take a second turn in a row by exhausting your roll card. So, so generally, you do that once. Generally you go back and forth, but you can do a super, super and sprint, get real tired. Presumably, if you stop taking turns, I can't just keep taking them. I think that's right. You can take one, maybe exhaust it, take another, but then, you know, yeah. I'm out of here. Uh, play a card from your hand, spend an amount of energy matching the number and type of energy shown in the upper left hand corner of the card. So we look at the mother of invention. It's got a one up there, and the matching energy, I assume, is the red kind, fitness. So I would spend an energy. Do we have those tokens over here to yeah, start things up? we will have those tokens, yeah. I mean, you can go ahead and set those up. That, and this is kind of our clock. This is how many tests we can take. So okay, be sparing. Or don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a reserved person. Uh, moment cards, I think we'll get all of this pretty obviously. Attach stuff to attaching things. Gear is going to be gear. Each asset has an equip value ranging from zero. I like how they did this. Check this out. Each asset has an equip value ranging from zero to five, displayed as a series of filled in squares on the right of its title bar. Like my meditation pillow is one. That's right. You can have a max of five out total. Okay. So that's so how they do how inventory. How many basically. gear it takes you? Now, if you have five, it's like uh, in Netrunner. You, you can only have your rig has certain memory. Yeah, your memory. Yeah. yeah. So you can always overwrite something if, mm -hmm. if your memory is full as it were. So if you yeah. need that meditation pillow host like immediately and you already have like your you know your like sword cane out, you can get rid of it and meditate. Yeah, uh, then we've got uh, side tokens. Many uh, cards have unique tokens to track the number of times they can be used. So you know, do that. Uh, responses, you know, will respond as necessary. <laughs> yeah, the card. Got it. Uh, and then this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna perform actions. They most commonly appear as cards on cards as tests. An abbreviation of an aspect plus an approach icon and then a thematic and mechanical description. We've seen all of that, so we'll do that. Uh, most actions require you to interact with a card in play. Perform an action on a card within reach along the way or in the surroundings. You count as interacting with that card. Perform an action on a card, you know, and we'll figure that out as and we go. How many actions? You get one action a turn? Yeah. So you do one thing back and forth until people are done. That's right. And it's like, yeah, we're playing Star Wars Destiny over here. And then rest. If you're finished taking turns for the round, you can choose to rest. Trigger any effects preface with rest, then your turn ends, and suffer one fatigue for each injury you have. Mm. And then you can't take another turn that round. So you get out of there, your, your turn ends, you suffer fatigue for each injury, and then you're what, done. Uh, what's the fatigue? Uh, it's like when you're you're going to lose cards like this as fatigue. So they don't go like straight to discard or no. something? No. But then some things will discard fatigue into your discard pile. And remember, if we ever run out of deck, then we're, we're gone. Day's over. Day's over. I'm just exhausted. It's the end of the day. Yeah, okay. Uh, travel then. After all rangers have rested, you may decide as a group if you'd like to travel if able. 
That's how you move around the valley and visit new landscapes, discover new things. Each landscape card has a progress threshold, so you see it up here on White Sky. That's four progress for us. If you have progress counters equal to or greater than the threshold, you can choose to travel. Note that ready cards with obstacles prevent you from traveling, so you have to clear those cards, exhaust them, or deal with them some other way before you can travel. See obstacle on page, etc. If you decide to travel, then you suffer fatigue, you clear the play area, you choose a new destination, you build a new path deck, and you keep going. Okay, so hello. I mean, like that's uh, that's pretty cool to me, honestly. And reminder: it's pouring rain. Mm -hmm. Someone's missing that we're trying to find. That's right. So and let's they, get out of here. They may or may not be a white sky. We're pretty sure they're here, but we don't know that. I don't know. Yeah, we'll just check it out. We'll keep an eye on things. Okay. But it seems like they're. It seems like they went. I mean, if we complete this, though, we can like move along the map. Yeah, we can go check it out. I mean, maybe during this day. Maybe there's this somewhere. Very this is one. This one. Hmm. This day. This here. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, last thing, when you perform a test, yeah, we'll we'll figure that out when we get there. Term success failure, resolve your challenge, and you need clear cards. That's right. Okay. Okay. And Back then I've the got top. a bunch of rules that that matter. I, I guess the, the the final thing that's really relevant is ending the day. Mm -hmm. So basically, we're going to keep playing rounds until the end of the day, and that can happen a, a number of ways. One, we can just choose to camp. At the end of any round, we can just decide that we're done with the session. Okay. Uh, like, if, you know, you got to go. Someone's got something going on in, in the session. Yeah, and my mom's that, here, you know. That's kind of cool. Yeah. But you can just end a session at will. Yeah, and then we're here and we pick it up. There you can't get time. halfway through an Arkham scenario and then be like, yeah, Arkham doesn't know what camping is. Everything's trying to kill you. Yeah, they know what dying is. Ranger 2 tired. If a ranger needs to draw a card or suffer fatigue and cannot, the day immediately ends. Ranger 2 injured. If a ranger suffers their third injury, the day ends at okay. the end of the current turn. Yeah. So don't get too injured. And you add a wound card to your deck after that. Whoa, a like, wound card. Like a weakness. Yeah, it sounds like it. I don't think Andrew included any wound. Oh, I think he did actually. Yeah, I saw him over here. Well, we're not going to get wounded. Like a lingering injury. Ally in peril. It is your duty to protect the people of the valley. For most human beings, if they're ever cleared due to harm, the campaign guide will instruct you to end the day. So there's stuff out here that like is like our stuff. Like a and friend. Then, like, they're getting eaten and stuff. Yeah. Days over. Days over. Too much. Gotta Morning must happen. Yeah, I got to go have a funeral or whatever. And a mission complete. When the final stage of most missions is completed, you reach a stopping point important enough to end the day and the campaign guide will instruct you to do so. Okay. That's it. And then I've got a bunch of keywords and stuff, and I'll, we'll ask Andrew questions as we go. Yeah, he's been answering chat. people's questions on the live chat. Great. So if you have any while we're live, you can feel free to leave it. Okay, and then I think I lost a card to the deck. Yeah. Right. And it's something about drawing these first. So let's, yeah, let's run it down. I'll get my little chart here. We're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw path cards. Right. So we're each gonna draw one. Starting with the lead ranger, That's which is you. path card. This is the path? That's right, yeah, the path right. there. I have a romping lutronal. Okay. And so nice. it actually comes into uh, within reach there. This is along the way. And it's not like engaged with me. It's in within reach of both of us. I think it's within reach of both of us, yeah. Okay. I think it's like this general. And you're correct us if we're wrong, but I think there's like your player area where stuff right. can now, or can't be. Let me just process this. Yeah, process it, please. So technically, if we wound it twice because the top left stat. You'll clear it. It would get discarded. That's right. What's this the purple one? That's presence. That's a, that's somewhat of a guess, but given everything else I know about the game, I'm pretty sure that's presence. And what is it? So anytime, like uh, if you look at the universal action, observe the behavior of those around you. That tells you how hard that test is going to be. So presence is kind of the difficulty okay. of the thing. So it'd be a difficulty one. Yeah. And I have to pass that test. Modifier or not? Okay. That's right. Response: If you fail an action while interacting with this being, move it within reach of another ranger. Right. So another ranger within reach me is is specific to each ranger. Okay. We have we have clarified that. So that's right. yours. And then a reminder: So we have like this sun icon. So if if you take any if this creature's at and any test is taken, let's say this top card is flipped. Let's say the next one slips. I'm gonna shuffle this in a second. There it is. <laughs> Who okay. shuffled this? Let's what? say <laughs> three sun is flipped. Yeah, Capri Sun. Any anyone on the table takes a test and that sun icon shows up. That's right. Then this is gonna trigger, which says if there is another Lutronol in play, move it within reach. Yeah. So they they band together as friends. Hang up. That's right. Um and then if the mountain is flipped, if there's an active predator other than this, uh exhaust it. Uh, add an icon this being add damage. So it 
basically the other predators hurt this thing. Yeah, they started to hunting it and yeah. attacking it. Yeah. Um, and then if the what's that icon called? Uh, crest. Crest yeah. is revealed. The red thing. If there are other active blue turtles, exhaust each of them and this being suffer one injury. So they're getting up on you. Yeah. They. They. Okay. Yeah. So you gotta watch out. So watch. Watch yourself. I'm already worried for you. And then a tributary stream over man. here. Good place for a fish fry here. Tributary stream feature water obstacle. Uh, zero presence on these. So this is just, you know, it's basically the stream. It is an obstacle, so we can't travel as long as this is here. Mm -hmm. So don't uh, don't try to do that. We have a spirit plus compass soak. Difficulty two on that test. Sometimes it's not easy to get those boots off. So you can soak your feet in the refreshing water to move your ranger token to this feature and soothe one fatigue. Ah. Or we can focus plus a little uh, uh, compass and follow to the stream to move your ranger token to this feature and one progress to your current landscape. Mm -hmm. So we can we can follow the stream, you know, to figure out a little more about how to get through White Sky. But it's an obstacle, so we can't go anywhere while this is in play. Here's here's my theory. Andrew will clarify this. Please, please tell us. Um, there's a top left corner. We have the little ranger icon. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we wouldn't be able to travel unless our ranger tokens are here. I think we have to follow the stream to get to the next spot because we've got to go out of white sky out into the world. Okay. So that that's my theory, but Andrew can clarify that for us. Because, you know, there's a ranger icon there, so I assume you'd have to have a ranger there. I'm gonna have the traveling can happen. I'm gonna have this little, uh, or maybe it clears it immediately. Oh, maybe that's it. When you soak your feet. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, because normally you have to have you have to clear it because of this little progress. Andrew on the top said, Andrew Fisher, uh, one of the people working on it, says that card clears when all rangers have their ranger tokens on the card. So we both visit the uh, basically visit the stream. That's either soaking or following it. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna make this uh, token that's got our logo on it. That's gonna mark where we're at. Cool. On this, uh, this thing. Did you give me? Oh, there's the challenge cards. Okay, I'll actually shuffle these out. Okay, then there's ranger turns. Don't mind me. And that's us. I'm gonna use this as a thing because it doesn't move. Don't Those card backs look good, man. Yeah, agreed. Okay, uh, so we got our starting cards. Now it's a ranger turns. It's ranger turns. And now I want to read a couple things. We already read the universal actions. I'm the peerless pathfinder, so I can exhaust, move my ranger to a token, to my, my ranger token to a feature. That feature gain fatigues me. So I can exhaust to move my ranger to a feature like this mm -hmm. without having to take a test. That's yeah, what I do. Yeah, that seems good. Um, and then I take a fatigue. It fatigues you, so you take the top card of your deck and put it in your yeah. fatigue pile. Now, keep, keep going. Check out this search mission. So this is relevant to us. It says, when a feature comes into play, place two trail tokens on it. So let's, have, let's get a couple of trail tokens here. So this will be on both of our features that we revealed because the search mission tells us what we're supposed to do. Now check this out. This is where you get me. This is where you get me on this. When you clear a card with a trail token on it, so when we clear either of these cards, place those tokens on this card. When there are four per ranger or more trail tokens on this card, we read entry 100. Okay, <laughs> hold on. You're reading this thing, the search? Yeah, yeah. So if we clear this, two, these two go on here. And how do we get those off of me? We just have to clear either do two worth of progress. This one we have to both travel here to clear it. So it depends on like so there's if we both travel here, mm -hmm. these clear. This this whole thing goes off the board, it clears, and then these two things go on the search. And then once we get eight things on that search, we read a hundred. Now something tells me that that's gonna have something to do with who we're looking for. Yeah, I mean, I got a got a feeling. You know, you ever think that way? Yeah. You ever played a, a game before? Uh, once or twice. Before. So it feels like we're gonna want to kind of stay around and explore the place, get eight up there, and then we'll get to read something fun. We're, we're looking for evidence. We're looking for evidence. Oh, that's right. So, and correct me if I'm wrong. So we visit this one to clear this card. We have to take uh, a certain kind of test here. We have to find a way to get two progress on there. So example, it has a thing on it that says uh, focus plus the triangle, gather two. I gather the medicinal plant to add one progress to this feature and either remove one injury from ranger or remove one damage from a beam. That's right. So if we take that focus test and pass it twice, we would have to 
we would clear these. That's right. You would you would clear this location. It would go out of play, and these two would move to the yeah, card. Because that's how you cleared this thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that. And then we've also, don't forget your universal actions. So you can always add stuff to the landscape. You can always uh, yeah. soothe fatigue or uh, connect with a being by adding, putting progress there. We can always draw a card. And then we can always exhaust a being by observing it. So you want to you be able to do that. And then we've got all sorts of cards in our hands as well. So it's up to you. Uh, but instead of using our uh, roll card as our token, would you like to have a, this is the Steven location token? Yeah. And I'll have the red one. Yeah. And I'll then, be blue. Like, you know, if I do this, then that means I went there. Yeah. And I'm hanging out. That's cool. Because like exhausting it. this matters. I feel like moving yeah, that around a lot is not going to be Let me get my stack of tokens here. Yeah. OK, let me uh, review some things. Review your cards <laughs> in hand. I'm not sure that this, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of go from the top rope on this one. Haven't reviewed any of this. So yeah, I'm, gonna... I'm, I'm not going to, you know, do too much. Digging. But I know that I'm a tinker, so I feel like, ooh, I should get this Carbon Forge cable I was going to share. Yeah, I'm with you. Attached to a predator or prey within reach. So within reach is only my within reach section, Yeah, I presume. Which makes sense, because if we both went to the same place, we, we might not be like immediately together. Yeah. Even though, you know, maybe yeah, I can yell to you like, or something. Hoo, hoo. Yeah. So I, yeah. I'm walking around, this creature's over next to me, and you're, you know, not. You don't have a creature. Okay, so you want me to just take a turn? Yeah, take a turn. Show me what it looks like. So I get one action, right? Uh-huh. So as an example, I have this adaptable multi-tool. I believe this is correct. It's two cost. That's right. So you got to spend two of your, your green So tokens. I take two of these tokens. They're gone. Put them over here. So much for those tests. It takes up two of my equipment slots of five. Okay. Must be good. It comes in with three charges. That concept art is fantastic. I love it, yeah. So I'm going to put three little tokens on it. And it says, when you perform an action, use a charge, so I get this three times, to choose which aspect to use for that action. Oh, whoa. That's so great. I That seems like a good thing to have around. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to so matter It just means that you can convert you know, your testing capacity uh, to whatever you to want. To whatever I need it to be. Yeah, it's a multi-tool. OK, so I played a card, and I think that's, that's the one that's, thing I get to that's do. That's your right? action. That's right. That's right. Um, well, I feel like, what am I good at? Focus? I'm a focus person. So I'll, I'll follow your lead here. Let's put out an infusion canteen for one. Mm, look at that thing. It also cost me two. It's going to be similar as what you did. When you equip this gear, choose an aspect. You can use sips of this as if they were energy tokens matching the chosen aspect. So I'm going to choose focus. And I'm going to put three sips of my of my canteen. So that's now three focus tests that I can take by sipping from my canteen instead of using my energy from my card. Mm, wow. I need some of those. Yeah, you do. And I've got another one. Not going to lie. Wow. OK, okay. wait. We just took our turns. Hold on. Now we got to do the things. Where the game has to do something. I thought right? we go back and forth. When we take a test is when the game starts doing stuff. That's correct. I think you're right. We can keep taking actions and stuff. Yeah. Let me, let me make sure. Ranger turns. Each turn, there's no limit to the number of turns you can take each round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Perform an action or rest. Yep. Yeah. So you're, you're right. Well, let's go back and forth until we perform uh, a test of some kind. Okay. And I'm looking at a card like Hidden Trail. And I like it. It's a, a card that you have to kind of set up. But this is worth noting on this infusion canteen. It's a good time to mention. That's right. Hydro brain, hydro life. That's right. So 48 ounces, nauseam water bottle, made in the USA, 100% HP, food grade plastic. Important uh, whenever you're out hiking, uh, which we happen to be doing, or if you're sitting down at a desk or whatever, uh, you know, take a drink okay, of life giving water. It's the stuff. <laughs> I feel like there, there should be a card called Steven's Canteen. $10,000. Thank you very much. Just put it in the uh, mail. Right there. Wire it right over. Uh, the... But Hidden, Hidden Trail, just so I am tracking correctly, has two of these Navigate icons That's on right. It. So it's, it, those, you know, looking at my hand, I have very few twos. It makes me want to hold that. It's kind of... Because I need to pitch that a for a test. It's a big bump. You know? So like, if you look at this focus test here on Tributary Stream, mm -hmm. 
you have to spend one of your focus energy. Okay. And then you can commit any number those of additional icons. energy yeah. to pump it, or there's icons from your hand to pump it. Well, I say we take our first test. Let's I am test the explorer. On. I just, I just want to get in there. Let's oh, go. I just bumped right in the mic. Let's go. Sorry, Sorry for the noise. Uh, I forget they're there. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, so the thing is, like, I, I don't want to soak my feet because I don't have any fatigue yet. Right. Who would who would want to soak their feet? But I do want to focus. Fatigued. Yeah, you want to follow the stream a little bit. So if, if I go to the stream, we'll put one progress on the current landscape. Boom. And then if we're both here, this clears. I mean, I, I think I can try to get there. You think you can get there? I got I got focus tokens for days. Okay, here. yeah. I like that a lot. Focus token plus. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to take that focus test. We're just a literally a toilet flushing inside jokes <laughs> at this point. Honestly, we've been doing this for 15 years. <laughs> Everything you're saying is a reference to something else. That oh, is yeah. completely unknowable. And, and we don't even know where the source is anymore, right? It goes, and that was even referencing something else, and it just keeps going. Yeah. Um, so if you're new here, welcome. <laughs> if you stay long enough, it all starts to make sense. Yeah, maybe. Uh, unlike if you're, I won't go there. I'll Check just it. let's just take a test. Okay, yeah, take a test. So it's a focus test. Mm -hmm. Now, it, do I have a stat? No. So you're going to start by spending one focus token, and now you're at one. Okay. Now you can spend Could additional. Could I spend more? You can spend additional focus tokens, or you can add cards from your hand. And it's a two test. Or anything on the, on your on your board that would buff this, or anything from your hand that okay. says when you're taking a focus test, do this, do not. Or uh, yeah, I'm, so you know, hypothetically, I could also just use my ability to get there. You could. And then you could take a test. But my gosh, I mean, what a waste! Who knows how important that might be at one. Point. How often do I ready? Uh, you don't ready until we we do the rest thing. At the end of the round. Yeah, at the end of the but round. But not when we camp, like the end of the session. No, yeah, yeah. You'll get it back okay. at the, the end of the round. I'm telling you a lot of things confidently that we will later find out if it's true. But yes. Because the, the flow of the game is basically we're going to do a bunch of turns and we're going to spend all of our energy and whatnot. We're going to take some fatigue. And then we're both going to rest. And then we're going to draw a new card... And then we're going to just be right back where we started. But if we run out of deck, days we get over. Our, and we get our spirit back. So we don't want to run out of deck for a while. We want to keep yeah. exploring. So every card you use, though, I mean, we're I getting mean, closer yeah, to that. I mean, yeah, it's good. It's, that it's, it's the goal post. Okay. You know, so I'm not going to use my ability yet. I'm going to be cautious. Hey, you what got a creature, it? too. Don't forget about this guy. You know, because if I fail an action, you got to get through him. Well, yeah, interacting you, with this being. You do, oh, this is good. You got to get through this guy. All right, hold, hold on. on. Hold on. Hold on. So within, I mean, let me search the document here. Within reach, surroundings, interact with the valley. Okay. Uh, each time you perform tests, the ecosystem does stuff. Yes. Uh huh. We got, we got that. Good. That's yeah, very nice. They did a, done a great job here. Yeah, range of turns. That's right. We can play these cards. We can perform actions. Okay. Check this out. Now there's something about. Uh, okay. Here we go. Most act, when you perform an action, a card, uh, if that action directly affects a card, yeah. Okay. okay. Before you interact with a card in play, other ready cards between you and your target may cause you to suffer fatigue. See the fatigue rules. Yep. So Andrew in chat saying, oh, what is he now? Cards between you and the card you are interacting with fatigue you equal to their presence. So I would take, I think, one fatigue because the presence of this romping Lutrinal is one. That's right. To interact with this. That's or right. Or I can interact with this. Yeah. If I do two damage to it, it goes away. Hmm, old school player, huh? And that's the only way I can interact with it. Well, you could you could observe it to exhaust it. What happens it, when it's exhausted? Uh, it's not in your way anymore. It's it's tired. Does it go away? It doesn't go away, but it it doesn't it doesn't trigger anything. It's it's blank for all intents and purposes. It's like ashes. Don't like that. How do oh. I how do I put damage on this thing? <laughs> 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 the whole the whole thesis statement of everything, the whole predictable I gamer pun over here. Get rid of it. But it I want scares it. Scares me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. He can bite. He might have rabies. I don't know. I mean, you might have like a, a stick of some kind or a <laughs> weapon. <laughs> what you do? I mean, you can exhaust it. What else can you do with it? You know what? If I take a fatigue, that's fine because I can soak my feet once I get there. That's reasonable. Actually. We're gonna take the test. Let's go. Let's go back. Here's this. I'm taking the test at three. I'm committing the hidden trail. All right. Get get fatigued. Now this isn't like Arkham. You can't commit cards for me, right? No. 
No. And once nor, again, coming to you with the request. <laughs> nor, would, nor would I. Uh, I don't know that you can. No, I don't, I don't know that you can. Um, so, so you're taking the test. So let, actually, let's go to the testing section. Hold on. Test. Taking a test. Or performing a test, maybe there. OK. And I'm going to actually run you through the actual. I know that you're really uh, very <laughs> concerned with the correct order of things. Andrew Fisher says that I have a staff in my deck that I can hit things with, dot, 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 in all caps, you monster. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's what we do. You commit effort. OK, so first of all, to initiate a test, commit one or more energy tokens Did it. of the specified aspect by removing them and doing it. Then you commit approach icons. All right. Uh, okay. Which did you've that. done. There are four approaches: conflict, reason, exploration, and connection. You know, take your take your pick. They're not pictured here. You may discard any number of cards from your hand with approach icons matching to add effort. When you discard a card for its approach icon, you ignore all their information about it. Uh, each approach icon that you discard increases the total effort by one. And then you can get effort from other sources such as gear, helpful beings, etc. Now, determine. Take your, take your fatigue. I think you take your fatigue now. Go and take right, so your top card of my deck. Top card of your deck going into the fatigue pile. I'm going to put it sorry. sideways right here where you can kind of see it on yeah, the screen. Yeah, let's see it. All right, then we determine success or failure. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, flip, so I take that, a test. flip that challenge card. This Three, thing. two, two. So I need anything but a minus two. And it's a blue test. It's a minus two. Yeah. So Who designed this so thing? So this is crest four. On a minus two. Now, do you have any cards in your hand that say response after you have failed at the task you've decided to embark on? Maybe something good will happen I instead. I don't. Mm -mm. Okay, well, it's enjoy your failure and we'll move on. Total time sink. But it's got the little <laughs> shuffle icon, so I assume I'll shuffle this all right back in. Shuffle it right back in. Who that's shuffled right. this thing? Uh, and we do believe that that's Lutronol is really the source of that failed test. <clears throat> So my instinct to just kill it was right. <laughs> there are no additional negative consequences. Often the only consequence for failing is failure itself, which is a good life lesson as well. And if there are any effects for failing a test, they're explicitly mentioned in the text following the effects of that, uh, whether you succeed or fail, etc. Then we resolve the, pull that back out, that crest four. We got to resolve the world. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the world icons. OK, so then we get a red crest is revealed. And so we look at the board. And then we look at first weather cards. Weather card only has a blue icon on it, so that's not going to happen. Then we go to the landscape card. Doesn't have anything on there, so we don't need to worry about that. Then we go to mission cards. Mission. It does. The urgency of the task weighs on you. Suffer one fatigue. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Cards along the way. I thought this game was about hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we see on the fresh blue kelp weed, if there is an active prey, active prey, exhaust it. OK. Add one progress to this feature. Hey, I succeeded somehow. Did you dunk the Lutronol there? How do you feel about this is progress? That's progress. The, I like it. The orange version. Yeah, I like it. This is also looking like progress, though. What about? Um, how about, how about, well, that looks like damage, doesn't it? How about this? <laughs> All right. One, one yeah, progress right. there. Hey, that was good. OK. And then anything here. So there, he's now exhausted. So it doesn't count. So it doesn't count. So I do like that. One, I failed. I don't like that I failed. <laughs> but I like that the environment happened. Yeah. So even though I failed, something went our way, yeah. which is cool, because I feel like it could easily be the environment just hammering you. Yeah. Uh, but it didn't. But it didn't. And this is uh, important. It says Lutronols gain ambush. So we'll get to find out. Let me look at what ambush does. Probably they come out and they exhaust you immediately. You know how these. I would guess when you get another card. Brains work. Uh, yeah, when, it, when a card with ambush comes into play, it fatigues the ranger. It's in reach of. You can also imagine that cards with ambush have the following printed on them. Enters play, it fatigues you. Mm. So it, it okay. happened before the game began. I don't know. We won't worry about it. Uh, OK, so there was your test. Very exciting. Very good. And if we were good at the game. You could imagine, you would know that you could basically, if I fail and this is the thing that hits, we will at least get a progress here. Yeah, so like you could just basically do tests everywhere else and hope to pull Crest to get that off yeah, the board. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Yeah, which is fascinating. This also says untraversable, so I'm going to take a look at 
what that means. I assume you can't take the universal traverse action. You cannot add progress using the traverse universal action. Boom. Nothing like an intuitive rule set to drink your coffee to in the morning. Yep. I almost waited to have coffee today until we were playing. I, I actually should be drinking some currently. Okay. We can make it happen. I'm I think I'm gonna go I'm think I'm going to the stream. Since you really led the way on that one yeah. so expertly. Well I'm gonna use my ability in a second because I'm not wasting my time anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do a focus test and move and move in there. Uh, or I could draw a card. I mean drawing a card is good. How do you do that? Uh, focus plus oh, got it. triangles. Just oh, remember. But man, do we get these back every round? Once we all, both have rested, I believe we recharge the, the whole thing, the whole the whole boat. Because, but all this stuff will go away. All of our our out of the bad stuff. stuff so th will go this away. is mine. Yeah, so I'm that'll go away. It. So you got to use the multi tool before whoa, you rest. Whoa, whoa. You know? Goes away when? I think it goes. I think you clear everything that it, that is a ranger card and a really and everything. I think it all good, and we start it start again at the end of the session. No, I think it's a, I think it's at the end of the Every rest. round? I don't know. Well, let's find out. That'd be crazy. Well, you know, get get Talk about good. impermanence. <laughs> uh, if you decide, so that's if you travel. If you travel, you suffer fatigue, clear the play area, choose a destination, build a new path. Down. And you don't just click. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. You, you probably at the end of the round, the rangers refresh themselves and prepare. Draw a ranger card, reset energy pools, ready all cards in play. Yeah, so you can stay there. The cards will stay yeah. there. Because right. even traveling, like I would carry my multi tool, but all the stuff that's here would go away. Yeah. And all little, this stuff you here. Get a little, you get a little yeah. break. And yeah. in fact, I don't even think you clear the, the environment. You draw a ranger card, you reset energy pools. When you camp. When you refresh. This is like the yeah, yeah. at the end of the round. I think you literally basically. just like stay in the night. Well, no. It's, yeah. It's just a classic refresh phase. We'll do turns for a while. Then we'll reset everything, ready everything, do yeah. turns for a while. Yeah, yeah. But if we travel, all the stuff in the middle goes away. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. We clear, I think we clear the whole, everything, you clear the boat. Clear the play area when you travel. All path cards, all ranger cards within reach along the way are in the surroundings. So once you travel, I mean, it's a brand new board every time. Wait, so Does that count my gear? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you're moving, like, a, you know, a journey, you know, you, you multi-tool, use it or lose it, baby. Hmm. But we won't travel for a while. Let's start about talking about this tributary stream. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take a focus test. It's gonna follow the stream to move my ranger token to this feature and add one progress to the current landscape. So I've got a focus test. I'm gonna use I'm gonna sip from my canteen. I'm gonna take two sips to go visit the water. Makes sense. I hear the water. I hear the birds. And then I'm gonna take another sip. I'm I'm drinking the canteen's drink. You used that earlier. Use it or lose it. I'm drinking the whole way down there. Andrew Fisher, equipped gear is not within reach along the way or in the surroundings, so it's not discarded when you travel. There you go. I, I mean, the, well, you got yeah, you get your multi tool. Yeah, multi tool looks like I'd be going down the path with it. You know, <laughs> like I'm not gonna like pack it up. It sure does. All right, so I've got a three to the two currently. That was a good test for you, right? I mean, minus two seems that every other stat on there was not minus two. All right, let's see what happens. You, your character now is a hydro brain. Yeah, that's right. I mean, three sips down in the water. Plus one. Uh, what? Plus one. All right, so I'm going to move my ranger token here. And you get the good this result. Oh, uh, man, we're going to clear that. I know, it's great. Uh, and I'm going to add one progress to the current landscape. The current landscape is this one. Okay. White sky and a little bit more about it. Mm -hmm. And my ranger token is here. Make your life a little easier. And then we resolve the crest. So the urgency of my task is weighing on me. So I'm going to suffer fatigue. Yeah. I'll put that over here. You guys can follow along. Uh, then we there's an active prey. Oh, there's not an active prey anymore. Nope. So it doesn't exhaust and it doesn't do the thing. Oh, uh, bummer. So, it, you know. We were on the verge of greatness. Yeah, they can't eat the kelp weed because, you know. Yeah. They're exhausted. I'm with you. Too tired. Okay. All right. Well, I'm, I'm here. Now, if you end up here, we get to clear it. Now, do you have to be here to soak your feet? No. That's actually how you get your token there. Move your token there and sue the fatigue. So uh -huh. you, you can do it the old fashioned way. And what thing. happens if you sue the fatigue? Perchance. If you soothe it, you draw it. 
So like if I sued this fatigue, it goes in my hand. That's right. It's it's strictly better than drawing cards. Which is fascinating. Interesting indeed. I okay. think that's true. I'll look it up. And if you hear the uh, the Nazgul cries in the background, it's actually uh, we're taping up orders back there. We are actually a business. We don't just play one on stream. Oh, soothe. I should look up soothe. See. How many fatigue you got over there? One. Draw that many cards from your fatigue stack and place them in your hand. That's right. Um, and to pay like a two red cost, I have to use two of these tokens. Uh, yes. Yeah. Or your multi-tool. You know. Oh, that's only for actions. Well, yeah, that's an action. Use one charge. Choose which aspect to use for that action. I think playing a card would be an action, and you could... Well, I think I'm going to try to get there so we can clear it. Yeah, let's get there. I'd like to... All right, I'm just going to use the, the Peerless Pathfinder ability. I'm going to exhaust my Ranger uh, to move my token here. Very good. And uh, that feature fatigues me, so I'll get one more fatigue. Must must be nice being so tired over there. Yeah, just to exhaust it. Okay, so then, uh, does this happen automatically? Uh, yes. Let's clear it. So let's look at how we uh, progress. Okay, progress, progress. Let's see what happens when we clear. Ooh, when you pry, it kind of interacting with the landscape right on. Has a progress threshold. If the card is a number equal to or greater than this, you can choose a travel. Yeah, that's for traveling. And then clearing. Uh, progress tracks your groups with features da da da. Towards connecting when a card has counters equal or exceeding the corresponding threshold, it clears. When you clear a card, perform any instruction in its text label with clear and the corresponding counter, then remove all counters from it and move it to its appropriate discard pile. So these go here. Mm -hmm. Ranger card, I assume we uh, travel back to ourselves. And this goes into the discard pile. OK, and we need how many of those? We need eight of these. All right, so we've got some work to do. Okay. Good job. Hey. You're at the stream there. So it looks like it's up to old Steven to gather some medicinal plants and add uh, progress to this feature. Remove one injury from a ranger, remove one injury from a being. Yeah, you're not injured, are you? Nope. And three injuries means day's over. And it's untraversable, so I can't go there. I'll tell you what I can do. Focus. Look at this. You're going to do the obstacle keyword. Fit plus to go there. Oh my gosh, perfect. I'm going to play some spider pad gloves. Mm, look at that art. I love every time art goes across the templating. I'm a fan. In fact, let, hold on, I'll do this even better. OK. I'm going to play another infusion canteen for one. Oh, come on. And then I'm going to go back to the back to dad there and get three charges. And then back to you. Okay. This is my little this is my little resource generator, see? I do see. So we need one more progress on this thing. We need the triangles. And I can I can do some work with these gloves as needed that I'm about to play. So just get ready for that. Mmm. I'm going to pay one blue for my meditation pillow. Thank you. Comes Great. in with three. Uh, you, tra you traveled down the stream and then decided, well, maybe now is the time. That's right. It comes in with three sessions. <laughs> nice. So, you know, I lay the pillow there and I can meditate. What does it do? Soothe you? Uh, I can take a focus test to use a session. Then I meditate on my journey to shuffle a fatigue back into my deck for every effort. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. I'm already just relaxed thinking about it. All right, let's take a I couple sips. I see these three cards I don't want to lose, you know? I'm going to take a couple sips from the canteen here to use two focus here to play spider pad gloves. It says I can use sips as if they were energy tokens matching the aspect there. So I'm going to pay two for the spider pad gloves. I can ignore the obstacle keyword during my turn, which means I can travel even if there's obstacles in the way, which is cool. Then I've got a fit test plus the triangle to use a charge to climb the obstructing terrain with the agility of a spider. 
I move my ranger token to a feature with the obstacle keyword. So I'm a I'm a I'm a straight mm, shooter. That would have been nice to have on that. It would have been great. Last thing. That's right. And we basically get new cards when we get to the rest phase. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we kind of try to take care of what we got going on here, and then uh, yeah. hope and it doesn't rain. To be clear, I can get all of these back. You, you will try. get all of those back. So you want to spend them? I think so. Yeah. I'm gonna go about doing that. Yeah. <laughs> well, start spending. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Check this out. I'm gonna play some trail mix. It comes with two morsels. Hungry. I can exhaust it and use a morsel to choose a ranger. That ranger soothes fatigue equal to their fit energy in their pool. Oh, no way. So I can exhaust it and like... I got two in my pool. But you only have one fatigue, so you need to fatigue a little bit. Yeah, because we got a min-max this thing. That's right, and then I'll let you draw those cards. It's crazy. You get it? I get it indeed. Okay, back over to me. It's time to gather this medicinal plant. So I'm looking at the fresh blue kelp weed. I'm going to do a focus test. Yeah, you, you do that. I've got one. It's going to use up my other canteen. Those guys were great. I'm going to go two from my pool, so I'm out of focus here. And then I don't have any triangles, so I'm just going to do a two to a two. Good luck to all of us. Uh, soothing fatigue, by the way, it is that ranger draws those cards into their hand. So you see the one fatigue, you grab one card and put it in your hand that's fatigue. I, and if fatigue is here at the end of the round, does it get dis discarded? Yeah, there's something like that. You kind of have you, the like, turn. The, you, yeah, rest. and Like then, when we rest, if there's fatigue here, it goes away. I think it becomes, but then you can't bounce it back kind of a thing. I think it becomes permanent, yeah. Yeah. You get All right. wrecked. All right, zero. Boom. Boom. Whoa, boom. boom. And the crest. Let's go. So this is crest one that I drew. So I'm going to succeed at the test. I'm going to add one progress to this feature. And then I can either remove an injury or remove a wound, none of which is relevant. So we don't need to worry about that. But at least we know there is medicine in the water. Uh, then this will clear. I believe this right. clears immediately. So Andrew, that's a good question. So would this clear and then we resolve the crest? Or do we resolve the crest and then this clears? It won't matter for our purposes here. But I'm happy, but to, to, know. happy to know it. So we'll remove that. And then we will resolve the crest. Search. The urgency of the task weighs on me. Suffer a mm. fatigue. Well, that's handy. It Give is. your trail mix. As if I'm going to help you. <laughs> Coming in here with a real ranger spirit today, yeah. aren't we? <laughs> Kill things Can and I help no one. Can I whack that luminal or lutronol <laughs> or whatever? Get this thing away from me. Mine? Uh, yep. And then nothing else. This guy is exhausted, so it doesn't matter, etc. 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 So we clear first, and then we resolve the challenge effect. So we did it correctly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will go ahead and exhaust my trail mix. I think this is how this works. Spend a thing, mm -hmm. and then it says use a morsel to choose a ranger. That ranger soothes one fatigue for each fit energy in their pool, so you can soothe two of your fatigue. Oh well, thank you. That's I brought, so... like I said, I like food. I brought a snack. It's so kind. So I get to draw these two. You do right out of your hand. Right there in the line. Because we got to get you to spend these resources on something. He's oh. excited. Oh, wow. I can do some I can do some moita. There's been a moita. I probably shouldn't though. Okay, over to me. I'm gonna take an action exhaust to add a token to my spider pad gloves. Which is my exceptional mm -hmm. tinkerer uh, ability here. Now here's a question for the big brains out there. My romping lutronal has the threshold of two up here, right? Yeah. What's that stat called? Uh, like damage, health, yeah. whatever. So if I take, if I look at this connect test, mm -hmm. spirit plus heart connects with life around you to either add progress to your uh, equal to your effort to a bean, mm -hmm. or soothe the fatigue from a ranger. So could I put progress on this? If yeah. it gets to two progress, it clears. It's actually one, just like anything oh, else. Oh, so I like that you, way better. Yeah, if you get one progress on there, you can you know. I connect with it and then it. Leaves me alone. Yeah. Yeah, it's I would have like, done. Uh, you know, you give it a little trail mix. Or had had I known that. Yeah. You know, would have done that a long time ago. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm not here. To kill I'm sure anything. you would not have murdered it, or desired that at all. So what's your? Uh, oh my. Okay. Well, let's let's try it. I'm yeah. gonna so take the connect standard connect thing. test. So I'm gonna spend the orange that I have to spend to do it, and I'm gonna commit a single heart. Uh. So I'm testing two. Yep. Two, and it's always gonna be a difficulty of one because that's his stat there. 
And so the degree to which you succeed is going to place progress on it because your effort is what's after the modifier. Gotcha. So right now you're up by one. one. So if you see a minus one, it would be a success level of zero, I believe. Okay. Or I can soothe a fatigue. Or you can soothe a Because the spirit fatigue. test says progress equal to the effort, or I can soothe the fatigue. Okay, yeah. So That's even correct. if I pa just pass normal, That's true. I can at least soothe the fatigue. You still get to soothe yeah. yourself a little okay. bit. Okay, yeah. let's take the test. So I'm at two to one, and it is a zero. Zero. So I succeed. That's right. Uh, now, does this resolve first, or does the test resolve? So we'll resolve right the here. test first, yeah. So you'll place a progress on the Lutrinol, assuming that's what you want to do, with your Connect test, or you can see the fatigue. Mm. Interesting. And this does go away at the end of the round, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That certain. makes me nervous. Yeah, man, you're, you're tired. But I have to deal with this every round, fatiguing me if I don't get rid of it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I, I will. I'll trigger this. So yeah. uh, we'll go ahead and put a progress here. And this discards them? Yeah. Oh, cannot be soothed. Hold on, what is that saying? What is it? Uh, cannot be soothed. No, no, no yeah, it's the uh, it's the connect action. Add progress equal to your effort to a being. It is a being, right? It yeah, is a being. Mm -hmm. Progress equal to your effort. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's fine. Is that right? Or is it not? Cannot clear. It needs the progress threshold blue box to clear it from that. This blue box. Got you. Uh, that's just his presence. That's a presence. Okay. Yeah. So you can soothe fatigue. So if then I'll just you know get yeah. a card. Let's grab that card. Is it a good one? Yeah, it's perfect. Right. So then this all clears out all the cards, and then we resolve the sunshine. This is sun eight. Okay. So starting here, starting right? with the weather, which doesn't do anything. We've so far saved ourselves, and then the landscape, which doesn't have anything, and then this. Yes. What does that say? So on the search, it says, they must have come this way. Move one trail token from a feature to another feature. No trail tokens on features, so we All don't right. have to worry about that. Then no other active suns. That's right. Resolved. All right. Active sun. <clears throat> OK. Well, I think it's time to traverse, man. What are you traversing? I'm going to traverse the landscape. I got nothing in front of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no pro So it's time to make some progress here. Let's make some real progress. Um, so I'm going to use my universal action card here, and I'm going to do a fit test. So I'm going to spend one of my fitness baubles. I'm going to spend another one to go to two. Okay. I'm going to traverse the nearby terrain to add progress equal to your effort. If I fail, I'm going to suffer an injury. So I don't want to fail that. So who needs two copies of spider pad gloves? Am I right? So let's go to plus one there by using the icon that matches. So it's a little compass icon. So that puts me a total of three. What's the difficulty of this test? Is a zero, it looks like? Is that their presence? Their presence is zero. So, uh, ooh, obviously like an awareness test here. It's got a number of cards equal to your effort. So that's like probably like uh, what I rearrange the top. Uh, yeah, probably top. over here. Because it says stroll the shores beside the towering pair parasols of the white sky to scout any number of cards. So, uh, you know, you look at potentially the top three decks. Oh, three cards. the path cards. Mm -hmm. Cool. So that that's awesome because a lot of times you're looking for like certain things or people or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so X on this test is equal to the presence of the card I'm interacting with, which is zero. Okay. So I could do a zero three effort on this thing yeah. and let's go. Fitness minus two. But you Andrews. still succeed by one. Yeah, that's right. So I'll succeed. I didn't get injured, at least. So that's worth something. Uh, and so then this is Sun 2 that we're looking at. I'm going to discard all the stuff I just used to do that. That goes away. And then I'm going to resolve the Sun icons. Nothing here that matters. Trail token, we'd move some stuff around, but that doesn't much matter. And then this reshuffles everything back in because we hit our shuffle icon. So one progress the hard way. OK. Okay, looking good. That's the cool thing about spider pad uh, gloves is you ignore obstacles during your turn too. So if there were obstacles out here, you could still like make progress on the main thing. That's really cool. Just, yeah. All right, on my turn, I'm gonna play the hydro lens goggles. Hydro lens. That's what I drew. So I have one green energy left, and I drew Whoa, one cost. Perfect. Green. And look at that beautiful concept art. Yeah. Is that a magali? <laughs> 
Got him. Uh, two optics on it. I can take an awareness test and use an optic to clarify my view of the environment around me to scout a number of path cards equal to my optic. Cool, man. So we're, we're going to set this deck up for success for next turn. All right. That's definitely what we're going to do. So let's look up scout. I suppose that. When you're instructed to scout the path deck, draw the number of cards specified. Choose one to put into play. Choose one to put into play. You may then place any number of the remaining cards on the top and bottom of the path deck in an order of your choice. So when you scout, you search and pick one. And one is going in That's and so the other cool, on top or bottom. Because there's like friendly stuff in there too. Yeah. I mean, not that this guy was an enemy, but like particularly there's like opportunities there. There's a lot of opportunities in the deck. Like I might find out that it's Gibbous and I can get some and of those fish. fish. Or you can find something maybe with four trail icons on it, trail tokens on yeah, it. Whatever and you, you can get the search to, yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Okay. That's All right. Cool. All right. Hey. Someone on chat's telling me to check our Discord that we won't be disappointed and I'm... Usually that means there's a meme of some kind. Well, we'll see. Ah, yes. <laughs> Steven's water bottle. <laughs> that so was good, so though. fast. <laughs> That's super good. Ah, everybody is cool. Okay. So, did you do your thing yet? I haven't done anything. Okay. I'm going to rest on my next action. You, you played your Hydra Lens. Well, I mean, should we should we rest or should we put another little path out? Because I can scout a little bit. We that, can't... That's a, I can't... I'm out of energy. Yeah, we can't do anything, can we? My friend's too tired to go on. Yeah. I'll, I'll rest. I'll, I say we rest, man. But it's an action you can take. Yeah. So I think we can both rest. Yeah. Or can you read rest real quick? Or I could do something and then and then rest afterwards, as long as it's not a baddie. Uh, when you rest, each ready card with a fatiguing keyword fatigues you. If it doesn't have a presence value, the keyword will be followed by a number that indica indicates the fatigue suffered instead. So anything that has fatiguing would fatigue you their number up there, which yeah. this guy does not. But uh, it's a it's an action choice though somewhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. So rest. Yeah, yeah we'll I was curious there. what happens when you choose to rest. Rest. If you're finished taking turns, choose to rest. You can trigger any effects that say rest. Then your turn ends and you suffer one fatigue for each injury. Then you can't take another turn. Okay. And then once you both rested, the round will end and we will reset All right. during the refresh phase. Uh, so you're resting. Well, it's your, it's your action. Mm, man, I kind of want to go. I kind of want to go weird here. Let's put let's put something out. I'm right. I'm not. Over. I'm here to spend energy and. Yep, I would spend all Chew the energy. Gum. Okay, I'm going to take the white sky landscape action here, awareness. Okay. And I've got two hearts. One mind. One mind. Ready for this? And I'm going to scout a number of cards equal to my effort. The test is a zero presence. I've got a three committed here. So let's, t let's flip the card. It's a green test. Awareness. Minus one. So I succeed by two, which okay. means that I will immediately... Ooh, this could get interesting. Succeed and scout two cards because I succeeded by two. Mm. One of them is coming into play, and then I think this crest will hit immediately. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. We got kelp weed coming back in. We're going to put this card, which is another uh, Lutrinol, on the bottom because uh, those guys are creeping me out. I don't need those guys. So come in with two trail tokens, courtesy of our mission card for search. Until the end of time, saying uh, the difficulty of the test is actually one if it's not specified, right? So you had a three with a minus one. Isn't it present? Is it not its presence? Oh, that's got to be it. It's got to be it. It's a presence yeah, of zero. It is, it yeah. is identified. I think it says presence is zero. Um, but if it's not presence, then uh, it'll just be a natural one, which I'll take. I'll take the one on top, which was the one that I put into play. Put this guy back in. I happen to know what it is. And anything you don't put into play on a scout goes to the bottom? You can do top or bottom. Nice. Your choice. I put I put it on the bottom. Andrew says minimum is one. Okay. Minimum is one unless it tells you what the, the number is. So that's fair. Um, okay. Well, we got we got uh, some kelp weed out. So that's not nothing. I like the kelp weed. Yeah. And then over to you. I have no choice but to rest. You have no choice but to rest. And I've got... Nothing to do with these uh, spirit tokens unless I want to connect. Oh, I want to, dude, I'll, I'll see some fatigue from you, man. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Let's do uh, a spirit test. You know, it's interesting. So what's the, the uh, difficulty of that test? 
uh, I think it's one. If it's not specified, it's one. Either add one progress equal to your effort to a being or soothe one fatigue from any ranger. Any test is naturally going to be a one. So I'm going okay. to put both of these in here to make sure okay. that we can soothe a little bit. And then let's roll in to a zero. So I passed the test. I can soothe one fatigue from any ranger. But dun, 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 the rains come. Starting with the weather. Let's see what happened first. This is a, this is a, what is this, mountain three, three. mountain. Mountain three. Yeah, so any effect of the test seems like it happens first. You get to see yeah, that yeah. fatigue. And then we resolve the mountain. Downpour, weather, says, remove one rain token from downpour. Each ranger suffers one fatigue. Mm. You ever feel like you're spinning wheels with that test? Yes. When no rain tokens remain, flip this card over. Ooh, don't like that at all. <laughs> oh no, and then it's nothing but bad for us. And then the mission search card says the trail grows cold. Remove one trail token from a feature. Oh no. Horrible. Yeah, the rain's washing away at the trail. Don't you see? designed this anyway. Okay, done. Fatigue is here. Uh, back over to you. You've rested, and then I'm going to rest. All right, so end of round procedure. Okay. Refresh. At the end of the round, we prepare for the next one. Draw a ranger card. Okay. Drawn. Uh, reset energy pools. Okay. If you have anything in excess of your aspect values, you have to discard down okay. at that point. So you reset to your stats. Reset to your stats. That's right. Two spirit, one awareness. Awa. One awa. And then ready all cards in play, including your Lutronal, your Trail Mix. And my hero. I'm glad I used that ability when I did. Yeah. And then the fatigue stays where it is. Really? N nothing, okay. nothing happens with fatigue until we decide to, uh, to actually move on to travel. That's when you suffer fatigue and do all of that. Until the end of time, happy to be here. He's thanking us for having this stream. Oh, well, great. Until the end of time, happy to be here. That's a pretty cool sentence. Uh, okay, choose destination, and then refresh, ready all cards in play, and we go back. I'm going back to the world. Back to my girl. All right, so. Back to my family. We still need four more progress. That's right. And they took one from us. So we need to start scouting. I mean, we, we need to get to it. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at this. We need to get to it. How many fatigue? Oh, and then hold on. Then we go back up. Hold on. We got to do the thing. We got to draw the, the, the stuff. They, t they used to be bad cards, but now they're actually good cards. So starting with you, draw path cards. Here. You draw one and I draw one. Yeah. Romping Lutronal. <laughs> it's a pack. Better find that club. <laughs> and then, ooh, ooh. I've got a puffer crawler. Mmm, that's cool art. Whoa. Look at this thing. A flora being. Uh, persistent, if attached to a role or to a being with persistent. Okay. Uh, and, it, and I'll look up what that means. And so it's just here. I can I can slash at it two, for two damage to get rid of it. It's got two presents on it, so it's very hindering. Um, and it can attach to stuff. It's like, it's like spider vines. They look uncomfortable. Ugh. Does it hurt you in any way? Yeah, it's horrible. Like, everything it does is it's bad. It's got two presents, too, so you don't want to not mess with it. I can't it. do anything out here until I get rid of this thing. Mm -hmm. Welcome to London. <laughs> time, to start, time to start clubbing, isn't it? <laughs> uh, all right, let's look at persistent. What is persistent? Usually it means they don't give up easy. That's right. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, cards with the persistent keyword are not discarded. Mm. Oh, this doesn't seem like what I want. Persistent cards remain in play when you travel instead of being returned to storage. It just remains in play when you travel. So I can't travel. This will this will hang. So with normally, me. if we left here, that would go away, but it's not leaving. No, alone. no, because it's he, like sticking to. Okay, it's like level level with me. I'm not I'm not sure how I get rid of these lutrinals. How do I do that? Okay, let's look at it. So it's got the two stat up here. Which I think is damage that I can, you know, if I damage it. Yeah. But, like, if I put progress on a bean. You can't do that. 
And then, then we have a progress thing. So there, there are going to be beings, I think, in the deck that have progress we want to like talk to and interact with. So you can observe it to exhaust it. Mm. Or there are cards in your deck that probably can uh, you know, murder it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm basically on either take two fatigue or every time I want to interact. Yeah. Or lose two awareness actions that I have to succeed on. That's right. I hope the modifier thing that happens is not I, bad. And I can also exhaust them with my. It's just exhaust one being, you know. So I can I can work. Mm-hmm. I can go. You can show me your sketches. We can get the binoculars. Someone's out. saying that being has ambush because of the location. Uh, just lutronols. Yeah, lutronols gain ambush. So you immediately take a fatigue. Where do you see that? Right there. It says right here. The fresh blue kelp. Uh. Somebody stacked this deck up. Who shuffled this? So when you draw draw that, it would fatigue you immediately. So that's... Who said there's no winning and losing in this? I feel like I'm getting pounded here. <laughs> it was all wrong. I have an idea. <laughs> What's an active being? A, a non-exhausted. Okay. So we need to exhaust all these things, and for good reason. I'll tell you later. Okay, cool. Um, And I'm I'm lead, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. We got, okay, we got the presence but, is one. Yeah, so we gotta like we gotta like uh, get these things out of here, and then we've got to start scouting. Okay. Yeah. I all got, this, I, all I, this I, nature is. In I got our way. I got hydro goggles. I'm ready to scout. Uh, um, right on. And remember, I have this trail mix, so I, I'm gonna probably start by getting uh, two things back with my trail mix. Reasonable. Yeah. So let's first yeah. action. I use the trail mix, lose the token, get two fatigue back. Now here's a question for you. Wait a second. <laughs> uh, oh, really? When the trail mix is out of uses, um, do I just like take the package and throw it on the ground, or like, does this, I'm actually asking, do I discard it? You discard it, yeah. I think so. Or do, can it stay? In case well, if it has uses, it. you discard it. If it has charges, it stays. But you, yeah. The real question is, who is you, <laughs> and what's m- I, <laughs> and who who is they? Um, does it automatically go away? Yeah, it does. Let's if not, say, I can let's replace play the game it like it should be played. You know what I'm saying? Nathaniel's saying, I know these sketches aren't final, uh, but I do love them, which is good. <laughs> That's right. It, it is. Uh, you know, I, don't, I don't mind it, for sure. I'm, I'm, this has got to go. How do you get rid of it? I got, I got cards to get rid of. Really? Yeah. You got a weapon. Well, not really. I think I'm going to throw my gloves at it, basically. <laughs> You're about to see Hulk come out over here. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. I'm going to do it, man, straight away. This thing is terrifying to me, and I don't like it at all. So I'm going to play... <laughs> Moment of desperation. Oh, man. Those, those webs really creeped him out. Yeah, it creeped me out totally. So discard an equipped gear to oh. add damage equal to the number of tokens on it to a being. You're throwing your a, gloves away? The That's coolest right. gear in baseball? Hey, they took my gloves, but they'll never take my life. Your freedom. That's right. Okay, you're out of here, cover crawler. Andrew Cartwright says, you guys had me at trail mix card. <laughs> See you later. He took my gloves, though. He got my gloves, but I ran away scared, and I feel okay about it. Ramsey's saying the container, because we're in a sustainable That's right. world, uh, was edible. Which is, well, no, I figure those those kilometer snake uh, trash they go around eating eat things. It. Yeah, yeah so like, you just throw the trash anywhere, and the, we have creatures. To That's the vision you have, right, Andrew? Okay. That's my action. Back to you. Oh, okay. I'm done with those vines. All right, let me look at this. I, I, I did draw my uh, Orlin hiking stave. Oh, wow. Sounds cool. Which is how I, you know. Ooh, but they're so good at hiking. <laughs> <laughs> so let's not. Let's not do that. I'm going to play nice. I don't want to murder things yet. All I know, though, is I'm looking for a sword when I can get that. Um, There's no swords in, in the far future, man. We got rid of blades long ago. Only you, bludgeoning uh, you, you had to get rid of your gloves. I get it. Yeah. You had to give a sacrifice to the webs. I did, too. So if I take an awareness test, I'm trying to observe these lutrinals. You know. I'm observing them just totally wrecking your day right now. Yeah. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to commit a card called Enthralling. It, all it does is two icons. Oh, right on. Yeah, classic design. Okay. So I'm at three to the one. Easy. So I'll take the test. Plus one. Succeeded. 
So I'm going to exhaust a bean. Now exhausting just turns this out. That's right. right. Yeah. Then we're going to trigger the mountains. You've probably seen that before in games. Uh oh. Oh, come on, Zach. Uh, so we start with the weather? Yeah. So we remove a rain token. Remove, remove one rain fatigue. token for the downpour. Each ranger suffers a fatigue. Okay. And then we go to the search thing. The trail goes cold. Remove a trail token from a Well, that's just helpful. So what is this here for? So you scout it for nothing. <laughs> well, I found it, but then it got washed out. Then we have an active romping lutronal. If there's an active predator other than lutronal, exhaust it. So there's not. So nothing happens. There's not an active predator other than neutral. And then that's it. So and then I got the shuffle icon. So I will shuffle this uh, along with the rest back of these in. tests. Back okay. in. Boy, this will go away. This will go away. away. That was my action. Ugh. What? A... So this, this we don't care about. Really? Not anymore. Well, but, it does give the neutrals ambush. Yeah, but you know, there's how many can be in the deck. You've got both of them. Maybe there's more than two, but I mean, not. I get a sense that they just hang out around White Sky, these creatures. Yeah. Because they're actually they're around the water, waterfront. They're water, water. Looking things. at the little key and the little icon. Well, water stuff. cats, yeah. basically. Pretty Someone, cool. uh, I think earlier said it was a mix between an otter and something else. Bat. Just got those, uh, got those ears. Um. Okay. Well, it's time to start scouting, as far as I'm concerned. You know what? No. Man, the stakes are actually somewhat high because, like, drawing a card is going to trigger the environment and it could cause it, the rain to happen yeah. again. Can you exhaust this thing? Yeah, I can observe that thing. You need me to observe that thing? If you do, it'll get you two cards. Really? Yeah. Okay. All exhausted. <laughs> All exhausted in a big way. Team brain. All right. I'm going to spend, uh, I'm doing an awareness. I'm going to exhaust it in a big way. Big <laughs> exhaust. <laughs> big exhaust coming up. I'm going to use my universal action card here. Awareness plus another moment of desperation. I'm not going to be desperate again this game. Uh, to observe, I'm going to be at plus one. So we just don't want to hit the plus, the minus two. Ah, that's it. Yeah, what are the odds? It's surely it I don't know what the odds are, but I'm hoping they're low. Zero. All right. And some sunshine. Wait, what kind of test was this? Uh, this was a, uh, the, the green test. Green test. Got that's it, right. Yeah, yeah. The so, red card made me think red. I saw the minus two red. It made me nervous. Success. So we're immediately going to resolve that. Exhaust one being. You can exhaust that. Let me touch your cards there. No more romping now. And then we resolve the sunshine. Uh, move one trail token from a feature to another feature is not going to matter. Nothing here that matters. Both of these are exhausted, so they won't resolve. And then we will reshuffle this back into the deck. Andrew Fisher, in quotes, not going to be desperate, desperate again this game. Dot, dot, dot. Are you sure? <laughs> I think so. All right, so. you ready for this? You're um, going to love this. Yeah. The crowd's going to love it. We're going to breathe into it. <laughs> it's a moment response. When I perform an action, discard your fatigue. Nope, oh, wrong card. Hold on. Where'd it go? There it is. Comfortable solitude. Moment of recovery. If there are no active beings. Uh, yeah. Soothe four total fatigue dividers you choose among all rangers. Ah. So we each get a draw two. Yes. That's great. And that cost me two blues. That was a revolutionary. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. Davy, the kelp did come with two trail tokens on it, but we hit uh, the mountain resolution the downpour, twice. Yeah. So each time it removed one from a active location. You got rained. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Ah, cool. Move the attached being. What does that even mean? Move. I guess I can probably put them out there, maybe. I'm about to look up move, which is funny. What is moving doing again? OK, over to Steven. It's time to scout. Yeah, I'm it's scouting time. I'm going to, ooh, I don't have, I need awareness to scout, don't I, to take a stroll. It's hmm. the only thing I can do there. He's blissfully unaware. I have all kinds of scouting power. I can't traverse because of my moment of desperation. I already did that. So I've got connect. Uh, so I can see fatigue, which we don't need right now. I've also got focus. So it's time for Steven to draw, draw some cards. I need some things to do here. So I'm going to spend a test. One to one. I really want that card, man. I'm going to go two. Two to one. Let's take the test here. Zero. And there's our downpour. So hey, I get my hard fought card. Ooh. This is the card you want. 
Ah, search your deck for one item and put it into your hand. Wow. Wonderful. And then uh, let's resolve the mountains. One off the downpour. Everybody takes a fatigue. Proud we are of all of them. Go ahead and uh, take that fatigue for me mm -hmm. if you would. We can't remove any more trail tokens because they've already taken everything from us. And that guy gets discarded. Now, technically, if we left this place, yeah, these would clear. Right? When you travel, yeah. And then we could still keep trying to get these tokens no matter where we're located. That's that's technically true. That's right. Yeah. Just curious. That's true. And when we tr when we travel, it ends the turn, right? Yeah, I think you end the turn and then you choose to travel or not. Okay. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's um, look at my hand. So I think I'm gonna take a stroll. And I'm going to add a card, and I'm going to add two tokens. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Scout so a little. I'm Let's at three, yeah. and the test is a one, and I'll yep. just uh, reveal the thing. So it's a z minus zero. Great. So I succeed by two, yes. but we do trigger the mountains. That's ultimately fine. So resolve the test first. You get to look at the top two, and then you can put one into play and one on the top or bottom of the deck. But we know yes. that the rain's about to hit. You're about to get rained on. Oh, man. Question marks abound. OK. <laughs> Let's put this on the bottom. That deck's getting thin. Um, and I'm going to put the Vera Boat Guide oh, into play. Right. This is a bean. Yes. It's got three health. Three progress. Three progress per investigator. Per an investigator. <laughs> <laughs> per he's, got, he's got a journal entry. Ah. Presence of two. You also see it doesn't come into play within reach. It's got that journal entry number 230. Mm -hmm. It's friendly. All right, let's look at friendly. We know what friendly means, right? Friendly. It, when it's between us and something we're interacting with, it doesn't fatigue us. OK. Yeah. Uh, a spirit test plus heart. You can ask if Vera will lend her boat to help navigate the lake to discard any one water obstacle and add three progress per or three progress to this card. Mm. So we get that twice. Mm. And then she goes away. Course. And then if oh my god, if we clear her with damage, oh my god, we read journal entry four ten. Don't kill the boat guide. Who are you people? If we clear her with progress, yeah, character the boat, no, charter the boat to another location. Read journal entry number four twenty. That's that's what we, I mean. Come on, right? Because it's getting rainy. So let's then resolve the mountain icon. Downpour fires. Remove a rain token. Each ranger suffers one fatigue. And then we flip this card. I'm nervous about that. Gathering storm, weather, focus test, shelter for two, shelter from the clouds to remove one rain from gathering storm for every two effort. Beginning of round, add two rain. Once there are four or more rain tokens, a peal of thunder feels, fills the air and a heavy rain begins. Move all prey along the way. Then each ranger exhausts their roll and flip this over. So everything gets moved from along the way to within reach, I think. I think all the, uh, I need to check out what move actually means. We won't pray along the way. Move. Oh, move is going to be super hard to look up. Move it where? Move. Move. The component is moved to a new zone on the board. If a target zone isn't specified, you can choose to move it along the way or within reach of a ranger of your choice. So all along the way, prey gets moved to within reach of rangers of, of mm. our choosing. They, they basically are hanging or like out with I could push these over to you. Yeah, you could. Uh, also, or Andrew it says along chat. the way only. Andrew in chat saying we actually read entry number two thirty when, when it comes it, out before the anything else. Oh uh, well, yeah. hello. Okay. So let's see what Vera's got to say. The woman at the helm of the docked seed barge is tall and muscled, with the shoulders that one earns after a life of paddling and pooling the valley's waterways. She nods curtly in your direction. Rangers, I'm Vera. I make supply runs all over the lake. She thinks for a moment after you introduce yourselves. You know, if you need a ride somewhere around White Sky, I can take you. Just make sure you're ready to go when you call on me. All right. We got to do that. I mean, like, that's oh, like definitely number gonna do one. Because I, I got to read I've the never been more sure number 420. OK, so that's out. We resolved all of that. And then we can start removing rain tokens from here, but at the beginning of the round, not the turn, we're going to add two to it because it's going to be raining 
forever. Yeah, and now. if it gets to four, we're gonna flip back over to the other side and, and yeah, move the prey. And we probably should just just wade through this one, honestly. Okay, so that was your turn, right? You, you did some good scouting there. You found Vera. Yeah. Very nice. Nailed it. Okay. Well, I could get lucky on a test here. That's interesting. I could soothe some fatigue. That also seems good. Honestly. Cards are good. Yeah. Um, man, those tests are devastatingly fun because, like, it's the only way you also do bad things to yourself. Mm hmm. How does that spirit test look for you? Ask three is a big ask. There's plus ones in there, though. Um, I'm trying to decide if I should use these two tokens to try a two to a three here. I don't have anything in my hand about it. Not a great test. Or, or to try to see the fatigue. Well, the fatigue's not going anywhere. And I have those crazy cards that get us all those back. Yeah. I don't have any more right this moment, but I feel like there's probably at least one more copy I've got. So it's time. You're seeing time to YOLO this thing? Also, every time the, uh, what, what's this icon? The crest. The crest on Vera hits. If there's an active predator, you exhaust it, add a damage equal to that, uh, to add a damage to this beam equal to the presence. So the things attack Vera. Yeah, if she's. So it's like an escort yeah. mission classic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, connect, you see this connect task here, spirit connect. Add progress equal to your effort to a being. So this is the one where we could just add it directly with the connect. Mm. And honestly, that's a one test. I, I feel like that's going to be some amount of progress for me. Yeah. I think wasting the spirit test here to just do progress, it also clears a water obstacle. In case yeah, we which could be relevant. OK. So I'm going to take a test and just try to connect with uh, Vera. OK. Well, I like it. Two tokens out. It's going to be a, a difficulty of one. And then the degree to which I succeed will tell me what happens. So two to one and a zero. So two to one with a zero is a one level one of success. success. So I'm going to put one progress here on Vera. OK. And we get the sunshine. There's all the sunshine. That's good. Uh, move one trail token from a feature to another feature. No trail tokens currently to look at. Nothing here. Everything exhausted there. So that's all done. Consider it resolved. OK. Back over to me. Back to you. Back in black. Mm hmm. Mm. Let's, uh, I'm going to traverse the white sky. So I'm going to spend two reds to traverse it. And I can add navigation, which I won't. So I'm at two. And then I think, tell me if this is right. Traverse X and everybody's trying to add. Uh, equal to the effort to a landscape feature. So I could basically, if I succeed, how much I succeed by input progress here. Yeah. Let me make sure this doesn't get in your way. It's got a presence of zero, so I wouldn't think, but it says untraversable. Let me make sure we're not, we can traverse when it's out. I think we can. Dabby is saying equal to your effort is the final value, not how much you succeed by. No way. That's incredible. Okay, so that works. So effort and resulting effort are different. So the effort you used on this thing was like it was two. Two. Yeah. So that's cool. So then if it's successful, basically the amount of effort you put into it. Oh, that's great. So that's different than resulting effort. Yeah. Quite so if I better. succeed here, I put two on that. Yeah. Which yeah, is cool. All right, let's yeah, take you're test. good. So this is the red test. I got a zero. So I will succeed Pass. by two. So we'll go ahead and just flip that to a four. Right on. Then we do the mountain. So remove Nothing a trail token from a feature. Remove trail doesn't matter. Nothing there. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. OK. Now, technically, because we're at four here, we could rest and then travel. But if we travel, here goes away. Yeah, we don't. I, I'm, I just can't. I cannot allow that. We need to get this done. Yeah. Then we can travel. Yeah. OK? Yeah. OK, over to me. Um, well. Well, I'm here. What? I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'm just going to go one to one on drawing a card here. Yeah, sure. Zero. Boom. Nailed it. Draw the card. Ooh. Yes, I love those cards. Okay, and then we resolve the crest. This is a crest one here that we drew. Uh, urgency. Oh, I said for fatigue. <laughs> ah. <laughs> 
Uh, if there is an active prey, there is not from the kelp weed. If there's an active predator, there is not from Vera. Everything else is exhausted, and this goes away. Cool. Okay. So and I basically have one orange left, so I'll go ahead and take the connect test. Uh, testing one. One to one. one. To one. Yeah. And we'll see what on happens. On Vera. I got a zero. All right. So I succeed. Uh, so I can sue the fatigue. Or you can put a progress on Vera. Ooh, let's do that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, Vera. We're, we're connecting with you so and then much. The mountain doesn't do anything. So, okay, I, I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of this. Yeah. Uh, which is good. Yeah, it's coming together. Uh, uh -huh. And then on my turn, I'm going to rest. Wait, do you have gear? Hold on. You've got gear. Let me add it. Let me add a token to any one gear. Oh yes. What yes, do you want? Yes, yes. Hydro lens. Yeah, get your hydro lenses. I'm, yeah, that's cool, man. I'm an artificer. I'm like helping Ooh, your stuff. That's out. really cool. That's awesome. And I can go to somewhere for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Classic traveler. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just rest. End of round. <laughs> so technically, at the end of this round, I don't know the order of operations, but we could choose to leave Wise Guy. That's right. I'll tell you the order of operations. We won't even leave it up to chance. It's in here somewhere. Brad definitely have played out of room. I'm a big fan. Love that game. So we do the ranger turns. Then once we're done with our turns, we both rested. We choose to travel. And then after that, we refresh. Gotcha. And if we did travel, hypothetically, we're not going to. These go away. Yeah. These go away. Yeah. We keep our gear. That's right. And then we build a new location deck based on where we travel to. And any injuries turn into fatigue. Okay. I think is the is the whole. Very cool. And then we Very build cool. a new path deck, and we go where we want to okay. go. That's connected, and that is just so cool. All right. So in, we draw a card, right? Draw a card. Yeah. The so then we go to the uh, refresh phase. So everybody draws a card. Okay. We reset our energy pools. Persistent means that it stays on the table even if we travel. Yes. That's so right. it sticks with us. That's it's right. Like haunting us. Yeah. That we're that stupid. Uh, Spider vine. Don't like it. Everything readies, including your. Uh, we didn't solve Vera because she's. It says three progress R, which is three per ranger. So we need six on there before we actually solve it. Yeah, close though. Uh, and then ready your luminals. Uh, we're back to that. Uh -huh, old game. Yeah, a cla an absolute classic. And then we go back up and we each draw a path card, starting with you. And we know it's a luminal, of course, so no need to really even look at it. No. Nope. Oh, yes. <laughs> R A R Tell T E L Fisher Folk Bean Human Villager Friendly Persistent. Ah! Yes. If this bean has any progress on it, it sticks with us. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, journal entry two twenty, please. Oh my God. Let's read that before you read the card because it's flavor first. I'm. So into it. Oh my gosh. It's like being in one of those uh, old school role playing games, man. It's like Chrono Trigger and, you know, the classics. Oh, yeah. Right. Classic. Also, look at the art on this thing. I love it. Oh, man. That's great. Ah, yeah. Ahead of you, a thick post rises out of the blue water, perched atop at a person with busty, bushy, <laughs> bushy orange hair, wearing an oversized vest. <laughs> busty hair. So I was like, man, that's a really <laughs> aggressive description. Uh, wearing an oversized vest with bulging pockets is casting their incredibly long fishing rod into the waves. As soon as they see you, the fisher folk reels in their line and flips their pole around. Thrusting the base of it into the water, they push off from the top of the post and use the fishing rod to vault to the shore, landing on the trail in front of you. Keep quiet now and mind yourselves. The fish are skittish enough today as it is. Don't want us to make noise. Okay. So as long as it has any progress on it, uh, our tail is not going to go away. Then it has a focus test. Plus the the koi, the koi, fish two, fish with the affable angler to exhaust this bean if there is a water feature in play. One ranger soothes two fatigue. Add one token to each food card. It's literally so that's what I was saying. Hold on, hold on. My trail mix is a food card. That's right. So when it ran out, oh, you can add tokens too. Yeah, that's right. So does it go away? Hey, Andrews, does it go away whenever it's empty? Or does the gear stay out? And can you keep filling my trail mix? I absolutely can. One token to any one gear. Man. OK. Uh, so that's good. And then if it clears from damage, we read entry 222. If it clears from progress, strike up a conversation, 223. Uh, if the crest gets revealed, if there's an active predator, exhaust it. Add damage to this being equal to the predator's presence. Cool. So don't let him die. 
basically. And it does not, okay, so it doesn't go away. Awesome. Great, great, everybody. So technically, I got all sorts of stuff out here then. Both of these canteens are out here. Oh, you can replay your canteen with yeah, your action. Of course. Okay. And both of them are on blues. So I'll just put that in here. Cool. Okay. Great. So gear doesn't go away. All right. Far out. Okay. Uh, and then something goes here, right? Beginning of the round. Two rain. The gathering storm. And then I'm going to use these guys to, to signify that I'm on blues over here on my wall. I'll just do it like this. Ding! I've got two focus canteens over there. Very nice. And the, are these aspects? Yes. Or are the icons aspects? Ooh, good question. You're an aspect. Aspect card. You have an aspect card. Aspects. They're your four numbers, your four stats, your aspects. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, and then did you draw? Yeah, you drew that card. No, I did to draw a card. Yep. Oh, no. You also. It's got ambush. A Lutrinol. It does have ambush. I lose a fatigue. Man, this game. Okay. Okay. We need more of those things as well. Yeah, we need a lot of stuff here, but it really isn't. Okay, number one, it seems like we should get one on there. Get one on there, mm -hmm. and then we should try to take the boat somewhere. Agreed. And get out of here fast. But I've got this. I've got this. Welcome to my problem. Water. Now you too want to kill things. <laughs> I'm gonna throw my gloves at it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've got plans, man. Oh yeah. I'm first. I guess. It's your turn. Yeah. Oh um, okay. All right. I've got so many plans. Well, one second. I'll let you plan. Uh, okay. I think I'm going to try to exhaust these things so I can deal. So I'm going to take a awareness test. One. And the difficulty is one. So I'm going to commit a one. So I'm going to have by one. Okay. And we'll take a test. And I got... Plus one. Plus one. All right. So I succeed. So I will exhaust this. Then we'll resolve mountains. So mountains. Search card says remove a trail token. Doesn't matter. None of the mountains are active out here. So that doesn't matter. Yeah. I do have one. Let's start with your Lutronol because you're the active player. What does that mountain say? If there's an active predator other than a Lutronol, exhaust it. So nothing happens. Ah, they can't, they can't this fight each other? Mountains eight, so I, it makes me shuffle the deck back. Use one pocket. Open. Wow, this is just this is just I, I'm getting it. Starts to make sense. I'm getting it. Fit action. Okay. Now this is just wild. Active predator. Except for each of them. Okay. I'm definitely going to be doing this fish test. Yeah, I think that, that's the one for you. Like I said, I like food. And if it's gibbous, you got to get the fish. That's all I know. All right, my turn. I'm going to pay one carbon forged cable attached to a predator or prey within reach. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Exhaust. You the, use one of the links here. To exhaust the attached being. That's awesome. And I can do a fit test and I can lead the animal away to move the attached being so I can move it out, I think, into along the way territory. You know, you use the rope to. Or I can move it over to you. That'd be great. If you want to. You, you know, know, I'd appreciate that. If you just want it, you know. Why not? Why not? <laughs> okay, mine? Yeah. I'm going to use. Hmm. I'm going to meditate at some point. It's going to be glorious. I'm just going to do this now. So like, I think this isn't a test. It just says exhaust. Use a link to exhaust the attached being. Aren't those actions, though? Are they? 
I was doing when I used my trail mix earlier. I You're probably yeah, that. yeah, it yeah. gotta be actions. It gotta be actions for yeah. sure. Um Okay. I'm gonna try to exhaust this one with a blue and I'm gonna commit the stave. So I'm gonna head by one. With uh what what are you using? What I'm action? Just doing the awareness test. You use the blue wrong, though, yeah. Wrong. Yeah. All right. I was using blue because the card was blue. You know. Uh, so this is a green test. And I drew a plus one. Nailed it. So That's exhaust a this. Mountain two right there. Yeah. And then the mountains trigger, which I don't think does anything at this point. Lutronals don't care about mounts. Luckily, we've avoided those crests because there's like all sorts of weird stuff that's going to happen on this crest. Yeah, right. That's crazy. Okay. Um, okay. My action is going to be simple. I'm going to remove a length of this carbon forge cable to exhaust this Lutronol. Okay. Oh, and Andrew's saying card abilities in play are not actions. So we can do that for free. Oh, I was using That's fine. my trail mix incorrectly earlier. Do you want do you want me to fill that thing up? I mean, it recovers two fatigue if you start with two fitness. Heck yeah. Why don't you get yourself some fatigue recovery there? I'll just go ahead and exhaust it out of token any gear. Oh, and the exhaustion doesn't cost an no. action. Holy smokes. We can do smokes. all that stuff on our turn as we like, whenever, oh, you know. Well, you know, I'll go ahead and do it. Exhaust. Eat the trail makes you just refill. I recover two. That's really good. It's beautiful. Oh, man. And actually, how, how many you got over there? I haven't even taken an action yet. Uh, I have one, two, three, four. Well, on my turn, you might get a draw four. No way. It's like teamwork. For real? Yeah, for real. For real. Nice. And then my action for the turn is going to be spend green, play a pocketed belt pouch. It has three pockets on it. You heard it here first. Oh, I love it. This multi-tool is going to pay out. One, two. Three pockets. I can do an oh, check this out. I can do an awareness test to use a pocket, open it, and reach inside. Could get my deck for any item, put it into my hand. Three times. I that can card's do that. awesome. This card's crazy. Yeah. What the heck? Tutoring. All right. Mine. Yeah. Check this out. I'm gonna use my adaptable multi tool. When I perform an action, use one charge to choose which aspect uh, to use for that action. Okay. So you said these were my aspects. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm going to choose... Uh, so you turn a focus test into an awareness test, yeah. for instance, yeah. I'm going to choose... Uh, I'm going to turn. I'm going to play Comfortable Solitude. So it's normally blue, which is focus, but I'm going to turn turn into a fit test. Yeah, uh, multi-tool coming in handy. So here. I'm going to spend these two red, and it says if there are no active beings, uh, soothe four total fatigue divided as you choose among all rangers. Cool. Now, this is a question. Are these active beings? Ooh, active beings. Technically, they're beings, and technically, they're active. But they're friendly, though. So surely, there's some solitude. They're friendly, you know. They're, 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 yeah, then I don't think it. I don't. I don't think that would count. We'll see what Andrew says. Technically, in the chat. it does say because we're not in solitude. They're talking to us and fishing and stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean? Back it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I had ready. a plan. They're active beings. Active beings. All right. So instead. And it first says they are, <laughs> womp womp. Uh, and then Muni, uh, when you draw a test uh, test symbol, does it trigger the cards in reach of other players or just your own? It, it Everything on the board. It triggers everything on the board that, that's active. All right. Well, instead, let's uh, let's have some fish. I like where your mind's at, though. You can try to get some exhaustion on him or some progress on him? Yeah. So I'm going to, well, no. No. That's that's a green test. I'll do that in a minute. I'm trying to fish. I'll be there later. Uh, I can add a token to a food, and I can oh, right. I can sue to fatigue. Yeah. Uh, so I'm trying to help you out here. Oh, that's nice. So uh, I'm gonna take a blue test. I'm gonna put two in, and uh, I'll breathe. Uh, add that card. You're so gonna I'm add at, the breathe in. I'm to at it three. Then. Three on a blue test. Three to the two. Blue test. We got a zero. We got some sun. We got some fish. It's great. Oh, it's a beautiful day. So beautiful it says day. fish for the affable angler to exhaust this bean if there is a water feature in play. There is. So if I can get this exhausted as well, it won't be oh, active. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. And then it says uh, one ranger sees two fatigue. So I'll give you. Oh that. well, thank you. And then I add a token to each food in play. You don't have any other food, do you? I have no food. No. no okay. Food. Uh, and that's that's all. I, I went fishing. That's very nice. That's very nice. Okay. 
All right, clear this out. And then we resolve the all around on the sun. Yep. Luckily, we're still avoiding that crest, so it's all good. Sun doesn't matter there. Everything else is uh, out of here. That one's yours. Thank you. So we're done. Okay. And that was a blue focus test. I have this card called Insightful in my discard pile. After you succeeded a focus action, you might can return this card from my discard to my hand. Oof. Dang, man. Told you. We're playing now. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, okay. And we've got the kelp weed out here, so if we need to, we can remove damage from beings if they mm, get attacked, nice. you know, for whatever reason. So Until the end of time, saying, how many cards left in your deck? I have 10 left. We need to start fishing this guy. 16. Oof. We just need you to sit down. I have a lot of, a lot of my, uh, yeah, my in your hand. Too. I'm about to search for three more, I feel like, as well. Oh, my. Okay, I need I need to talk to this boat guide. Yeah. I think that's where we are, right? If you succeed at this one spirit test, it'll put three on it. Yeah, I know. Like That's like so big money, no whammies there, but I don't have the goods. I just don't have the goods. Mm. Now let's make sure. Let's make sure. Fit tests, fit tests, thoughtful. So, also, if you see a standard connect, I can it's, at least get one on, maybe two. And is the difficulty two. a two because of its presence? Uh, let's see. It doesn't have the X there. You see how like Traverse oh, has yeah, X, yeah, and yeah. so it's just one. So And it's equal to the effort. Yeah. So um, I spend two. If it succeeds, I put two on. Can you follow up, you think, with some? Can you not do a three? I don't think so. I've got two tokens and nothing in hand that would help. OK. I, I'll, I can also take a two test and try to succeed. So we can we can try to get it done. Equipped. Equipped tech would mean not just mine, I'm guessing. On universal power cells, can I put universal power cells on Zach's gear? On my trail mix? <laughs> yeah, it has to be tech. I don't think I can do it on your your Hydrolens goggles, though you could. Um, I also really want to get at least one here because then our tail sticks with us. Yeah, how do we do that? I'll, I'll do that with this test, actually. Just, you just need to just get one on connect. There. Yeah. And surely I'll hit a one on a one. That's fine, right? I think one thing that's really kind of interesting is just taking a test with one. There's a lot of zeros and ones in there. Yeah. You might fail, but like taking two chances at it. Yeah, as long as there's no like bad effects on the board that are going to start firing because yeah. of the. Yeah, and there's really not. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to do a connect test. I'm going to attempt to uh, connect with the life around me to add uh, hopefully a progress to this guy. So I need a zero or a one. It's a minus one. This is a mountain seven. So the test fails. I couldn't connect, he was too busy fishing. And then we resolve the uh, mountain icon, trail grows cold, remove a trail, that doesn't matter. Those are all reds. Everything around Zach and I is exhausted, so we don't have to worry about the bad stuff. Back to you. Interesting. Well, I'm going to take a connect test on all Artel here. I'm at one. I'm going to go ahead and put in an extra one. That's the thing I can get back when I take a focus test, mm -hmm. so I like that. Uh, so I'm at two, and I got a minus one. You did it at least. So I'll succeed, but we did get the icon, so we'll oh, see what happens. Okay, resolve the test first. So I resolve the test. I'll put one progress. Technically two, I think. It's just effort, total effort. Oh, uh, that's right. right. Yeah. So put two on. Two effort on. And we need four to resolve the effect. Uh, then we'll resolve the crest. So the urgency of the task, I get a fatigue. Ugh. Got it. Um, then we can resolve these in the order of our choosing. This one won't resolve because it's exhausted. Yeah. No active prey. No, no active predator. predator. Yeah, we did our job. Yeah. Way to go, Rangers. The luminals. All right. Okay. Well, so you've done that. I'm going to try to get maybe one more on Vera. JS Ibley says, thank you, Card Zoom person, for your work. <laughs> the popper. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we could just change. says commit plus challenge equals effort. So I spent a spirit token and committed one, so it was two. 
and if it says equal to your effort, my effort was a two. The remaining effort, or the what was the the other term? Resulting. The effort resulting is effort. That's the difference. Is whatever you did minus the test. Okay. Not full. Okay, so nothing particularly. You know what? I'll go, man. Let's go. Where are we going? Um. We're going to Funky Town. I'm going to go big on this, I think. I think I'm going to go big on this. Uh-huh. No, don't want to do that yet. I really want to talk to Vera, but I'm not really great. You remove one injury or remove one from a being. We could get the kelp weed out of here, but that doesn't matter too much, does it? Take an awareness test and stroll, which I don't really want. And then we've also got that, which is not ideal. What up, Cameron? Saying the sun is just coming up in Canberra, Australia. Love seeing TC covering Earthborn with my morning coffee. Very nice. Very nice. And we've we've satisfied White Sky. So we've it's really just about Vera at this point. So Andrew, are you hold on. Andrew's saying it's not accurate. What's not accurate? Effort is the the test minus whatever modifier is it well we'll have to find out because there's effort but then you see gathering storm says uh remove uh, one rain for every two resulting Andrew says effort. resulting effort is the same as effort we just miss cleaning up some of the language okay cool okay. so it's always so there's effort. minus one on this yeah that's fair we'll just clear that and, you know. vera i think maybe had one less but we're gonna leave it yeah because i want to talk to vera more all right so now, ugh, I, I need more spirit. I'm all focused, man. I need more emotion. We both do. Low yeah, spirit. Right, right. We need the hype man. I'm going to ah, I'm gonna try to do this. I don't know what's in my deck, but I'm going to give it a shot here. I'm going to try to use my pocketed belt pouch. There might be something in there. And I'm going to discard Vigilant to count as one awareness energy. Oh, so you don't, it's not the difficulty of test, that doesn't matter. It's whatever the modifier is, modifies your effort. Oh, So cool. if you test a three and you get a minus one, your effort's two. But it's if you not, get a plus one. It's not how much you succeeded by. Uh-huh. It's your, your resulting effort. So calculate success of the test, yes, no, and then what was your total effort? Yeah. Yeah, all right, I get you. So I'm going to do a one-to-one -one here on pocketed belt pouch. I remove a charge. Let's see if there's anything in there. I'm sure there's something in here. Ooh, minus one. Couldn't find a thing. Crest is going to resolve. This is crest one. Urgency of the task is weighing on me. It's so urgent. Uh, no active predators, etc. Yep. So that one's out. All right. Nothing in my, my belt. My pouch is empty. Help. All right, let's see. So I can traverse a landscape. Don't want to do that. I can do my awareness. Yeah, no, that's very interesting. <clears throat> How many hearts you got in that hand? Well, I'm going to do this. Oh, we got no spirit, right? We can't do that at all. I am going to take... Nope, bad. We, we, we may just have to rest up and then chat with Vera and get out of here. Yeah, let's uh let's do some hydro lens goggles. Take an awareness test at one. Uh, Scouting over there, yeah, bring it on. And we'll go two. Give it some pumps. And then my modifier is a plus one. Okay. So a three awareness. Three awareness. Uh, clarify your view of the environment. It's got a number of path cards equal to your effort. So my effort is two plus one is three. There we go. So look at the top three cards. Ooh. Apparently Luke's saying just hit 2,000 backers. Phenomenal. Yeah, this is on Kickstarter right now. Uh, made by a crack team that had a lot to do with a lot of the FFG uh, living card games that we enjoy playing. Uh, independent studio here, started by Andrew Navarro, former head of studio for Fantasy Flight Games, former and current consultant, I believe, for Chip Theory Games, founder of Earthborn Studios, etc. Here's a question. So the bubble is a card. Oh, yeah. It's got a story, oh, but... Then say no 
Then it's got two things going on. One, it's got a fit test. Mm -hmm. You can swim for three to down to the underwater dome. Return all of your equipped gear to your hand to move your ranger token to this card. Story uh, 211. I, this is the only thing that I care about If you now. fail, suffer an injury. It's all that I care about is to get so, to that dome. We'll put the bubble out. This and like... also, while your ranger is on this card, prevent all fatigue you would suffer from the weather. Mm-hmm. If you fail, suffer an injury. So it's a fit test of three. Wow. But I, I think I have a way to get there. I might, yeah, I might have one. <clears throat> Maybe not this round, but next round. Yeah, I agree with you. There's uh, so much cool stuff to do. I want to do all of it. All right, 210. Do you want to go to Underwater Dome? Are you crazy? The bubble. Standing on the edge of one of White Sky's platforms, you can see through the clear water to the lake bed a good five meters down. Nestled among the jagged rocks and mud is what looks like a large bubble of trapped air. You think you see green within and movement as well. You ask one of the locals, a young boy named Turson, if there's anyone in the bubble right now. Just one, he says, not taking his eyes off the bobber on his fishing line. Solaro Mako from Spire said he wanted to study some of the old arcology gadgets down there. Maybe prove the bubble was made by the same arcology folks too. When you ask when he's coming up, Turson laughs. He's been down there for a week. Bubble has plants in it so he can stay down there as long as he wants unless the Lutronols eat him. Don't we know it? Okay. And if we're both here, we clear it and gain an audience with the scientists. That's right. And I can get there really easy with my ability. But the only way we read story 211 is if someone swims there. Hmm. Can you do a swim test? Man, fit three is tough for me. Um, Next round, I could easily swim there, but I also have the easiest time to get there. Yeah. I've got, I feel like I have all the wrong cards for these tests right now. So, needs more focus. Huh. Uh, well, let's trigger these mountains first. Anything tr happen on the mountain? Hit. On I was resolving a test. Oh, scattered. mountains. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, no. Wait, this is a feature, right? So does it have the little tokens come out? Oh, uh, yeah. But then it loses one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait. It doesn't lose it to the thing. It loses it to the bad thing. Man, completing that thing has been the toughest thing of all. Yeah, we're going to find this thing, this, this gal. Mm-hmm. Mm. Huh. I don't know if we're going to find her. Well, we have to. Yeah. Found some other people. <laughs> I have all the wrong cards here. So what's next? Any one trail. I don't have any trails out there. I'm thoughtful, but there's not any of those triangle tests. I can gather some. I can try to uh, remove rain tokens, but it's not too bad. Uh, it just flips back over. But you, will, it will exhaust you. So then we can't travel there until we sw unless we swim. But I can just go ahead and travel there, and I'm still there. My, does my token come back to me as we go? I don't around? know. Good question. Probably not. Or you probably stay there. There's no reason you would return to, you know, the nether space, basically. And then fit test for me is going to be all about can I find, can I find something that's going to bump that. I don't think there's any plus twos in the decks. Well, there are some plus twos, weirdly yeah. enough. That would be but just a miracle. Though. You could also travel our next round, right? Presumably, the only way that I know to get there is to take that fit dust. But like, if you do, you can wait till you at least have another. I'd have to, yeah, and take yeah. a take a decent shot at yeah. it. So in the meantime, um, I'm going to talk to, I'm going to connect with Vera. Yeah, I like that. It's going to be a one to one. So we'll see if we succeed or not. We do. So success, my effort was one. So I'll put one on Vera. Connected. And I'm doing that for my universal actions card, the connect keyword. And then we'll resolve the crest, and I suffer fatigue. Oof. I'm going to give you all those cards in a minute. I'm getting wrecked. And then over to you. Crest isn't going to matter, no active prey currently. Hmm. Yes, uh, Zach could use his ability to just go there without taking the test because you're yeah. an explorer. That's kind yeah. of your but deal. But I, you're I too wouldn't good at get it. to resolve the story on that fit test, though. Yeah, on the swim yeah. test. But us both being there would clear it and resolve the clear ability. So then if I fit test and get there, we read 211 and then 212. That's right. That's the goal. All stories, all the time. And I would love to get these back in hand and play them again. 
That's what I'm saying. So, like, it's really good for me to do that. Having all there. these, like, I can use my Trail Mix next round, then we can bounce it back and then play it again. And if any of these cards can bump that test, we're in a good spot. Yeah, I'm 100% there. So, I can take a test and I can switch the type here. So, I think I'm going to take a two test uh, when I form an action. Yeah, that, that's right. So, I think I can multi tool. Uh, Tell me if this is correct. What test do you want to take to start? So I, the test I want to take is the connect. Yeah. So then you can change it from spirit to fitness. Yeah. So I'll use two. Nice. Love that moment. And I'm too. trying to interact here. Yeah, we could do to this get to actually. The clear. But if we do that, we might leave, and then we wouldn't get to hang out with the bubble. Potentially, we'll see where Vera takes us. But charter the boat to another location if we clear it. Now, do we have to clear it if we get the number I think on so. there? Yeah, I think it immediately clears. Well, let me do this then. Yeah, you talk to the fish person. Because I can clear that as well if we get to two to three more. That's true. Which I'm at two, so we won't quite get there, but we'll queue it up. If you get a plus one, you would on the card. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Let's Possible. take that test. All right, here we go. So I need a plus one on the red. Yeah, that'd be good. How about we get a minus one? It's not. It's okay. It's not it. So I still on put one on. And, and then mountains and shuffle these cards. It's right mountain here. eight. And then we shuffle them all back in. And the mountains, nothing on the board with mountains is going to resolve in a way that impacts us. OK. And then now if I put my ranger token here, can I still interact with the board as normal? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and exhaust to put my ranger token here. Nice. So I have that ability. to, And that doesn't take me an action, because exhaust abilities don't. Love it. Landscape. Oh, yeah, mountains clear, clear this. How about that? Ugh. That's so right. When yeah. those features come out, you basically need to do nothing except for complete the feature. Yeah. If well, you we want were supposed tokens, to be searching yeah. for this person, and instead we're just exploring the world. Well, you know. That's not how you search for somebody, you know? It's like, I was on a search and rescue mission. It's like, well, let's go see what the theater is but like I here. I do feel like that's how you have a decent time, you know? Right. Well. Over to you. you guys that's not what I'm here for. You got some focus about you. Yeah, I mean, it's just drawing cards, but like that's also getting me to the, the death toll. There's not any focus tests that matter. Shelter is fine. Mm. But we don't need to... You need one of these multi-tools. Yeah. Hmm. We could get rid of the kelp weed, but I feel like it's nice to have out there. Yeah, it's fine. I feel like it's really nice to have out there. So... Uh, man, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna try to draw a card the old-fashioned way. I'm just gonna do it. I've got focus to spare. I'm gonna spend two of them here. Two minus one, passed. Resolve mountains, reshuffle. There's nothing okay. more they can hammer us with, and I will draw. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! I got some. I got a real weapon here, man. All right, Andrew. Question for you in the chat: uh, What happens if I move this romping lutrinol? I can do a fit test to lead the animal away. Move the attached being. So I guess I could move it out here, and then I could interact with things out here without taking fatigue next turn. Oh, you, you know what? I like that uh, idea. James Think caught me. Answer. I've got six worth of equipment out. Oh. So I have to get rid of something. That's right. I'm gonna, I am gonna. haven't used it, so I'll get rid of the meditation. Oh, it's so sad. Yeah. I'm sad about it because I was going to use it, but it's the only thing that doesn't you know, affect the game state in an irreversible fashion. All right. All right. Uh, back to you. I drew my card the old-fashioned way. Uh, I will rest. OK. I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to take this. Um, I'm going to take this fit test on this this uh, carbon forged. Okay. I can lead the animal away. Yeah, nice. It's one to one. You can so put it out here instead. May as well give it a shot here. Minus one failure, and then the mountains resolve, and I don't need to worry about that. So he can't be led. He's too stubborn. And then. You've rested, so 
Andrew Fisher says, when you move it, you can place it along the way or within reach of another ranger. Along the way is probably better. Then it's only between you and the landscape. Yeah. So then I can interact with stuff here without it fatiguing me. Interesting. That's kind of a cool layering technique. Yeah. So if it's here, it's in between you and everything. If it's here, it's in between you and this. Yeah. And the landscape. That's right. And presumably the weather, I would assume. If I try to take this focus mm. test, anything here would probably fatigue me as well. That's interesting. Yeah, because you can't take shelter because all this stuff in your way. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna rest as well. Okay. End of the round. We draw a card. Everything readies. Draw a card. Oh, just what I needed. Ooh. <laughs> all right. Then uh, this ready. So everything's ready, and then we each draw a card from the path. That's right. Okay. The Plasma Sucker Swarm. Uh-oh. X and X on the presence and the value. It's uh -oh. going to engage with me. Uh-oh. Uh, no story. It comes with one sucker counter. It's fatiguing. What's that mean? Uh, that means that it fatigues you. I don't know. There's I probably get one fatigue. I think it's like it's really bad. When you rest, each ready card with fatiguing fatigues you. So next time you rest, it's going to cause you fatigue because you okay. can't rest. It's like swarming on you. X is equal to the number of suckers on this swarm. Zero. One. Starts with one. You cannot interact with this swarm with weapons. Oh, come on, but I had Awareness weapon. swat the buzzing nu nuisances to add one damage to this swarm. Can I take tests within reach of Zach? It, every, uh, what's this red one again? I crest. Can. Every crest adds one token. Uh, it's got one health though right now while it's there. So then you get a card. Okay. Oh no, another one of these puffer crawlers. Oh my gosh. Okay. And if it says yes, you can interact with cards that are great. Uh, yeah. Great. Okay, let's refill. Don't forget yeah. your, your test. That's the important thing here. Resources. Okay. But anything within reach of you is between you and me. Right. Because anything in, in reach of you is in between you and everything else. So I think I just swatted away. You should probably try that right away. It's a swarm, man. You get this out of here. We don't want it at all. So I can test one. You feel like you really get, get you really getting, the environment is here, right? Yeah. Um, I'm on it. So let's. Can you block whatever YouTube yeah. weirdo? Yeah. yeah. It's like that up there. Uh, right? I, I almost. Right there. That yeah. one. Yeah. I, I whatever. I hope person. whatever they're doing is productive for them. So. I feel like. We want to be here, and then we want to do this, right? Yes. That's really that's really our, our life. Clear that, and then we can probably clear this too. Mm-hmm. Because we keep not getting things to do that. Mm-hmm. That's so true. Yeah, there's nothing we can't find this person because we're too busy, you know, basically um, at the amusement park. So I'm basically gonna try to swat here, and get rid of these, and then once they're yeah, that's really where I'm at. So let me try a SWAT. I'm going to kill this puffer crawler again. There will be no. And the difficulty of this SWAT, because it's not indicated, is one. That's right. That's correct. OK. Everything must go. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I also have this. Go. You can gain two of your exhaustion back. Trail mix. Not bad. I'm Is probably it... going to try to fish a little bit, too, maybe. Well, I'm going to go ahead and exhaust it because it doesn't cost me an action. Yeah. And you can uh, sue the fatigue for each fit that you have. So you get two back. Very nice. OK. Then I'm going to take an awareness test of one. One to one. Let's go two to one. I want to get rid of this swarm before it's a problem. 
And we got a plus zero, and the sun's out. Sun's out. Uh, so, oh, check this out. This no, there's going to be some crazy stuff. Yeah, so first thing that happens is I successfully swat, add a damage token, it goes away. Okay. Easy. Then we're going to resolve suns. Nothing. Okay. Feature. No suns here. Mm -hmm. Then we'll go here. The romping Lutronal says, if there's another Lutronal in play, move it within reach. Is that rope still attached oh, yeah. to it? You still got a cable in there. And can anyone use that? I, I can or you can. I probably can because it's my card. Um, then this triggers, same thing. This triggers, same thing. So if you had gotten that card, they would I would have gotten the yeah, I would have gotten the, the pack. Yeah. Actually, but now you're clear up to do something else. I'm clear up to deal with this puffer crawler. What the heck oh, is yeah. this? Thing? Also, two goes on this. What happens there? Oh yeah, that's bad for us. Uh, move all prey along the way, there so all of that would come to us. And then you train your exhaust, and we flip this over. So we're exhausted. Bummer. Okay, the rain, man. Yeah. Nobody wants the rain. And then that comes in before on it. Yeah. Okay, I got and it. We're so back in the down. Happens and yeah. garbage. Okay. Okay. Got to get out of here. My gosh. Oh no. And then this guy, the puffer crawler, says add one damage to the being to which this is this flora is attached. Attached to your roll, it fatigues you. It's not attached to a being, but there's going to be symbols that are going to attach these to beings. Mm hmm. But that means I could put it on the on the lutronol. Ah, perfect. Yeah, I'll put it over there. So we just need to hit a we need to hit a mountain symbol basically. My turn. Yep. All right, have at the. Well, I want that fit test to work. I need to get in the bubble, right? Isn't that really what we're here for? That is why we're here, yeah. You just deal with that thing. Get the, I'm already in the bubble. These Lutronals are following me everywhere. Yeah, you got to get, you got to, these Lutronals are a fit test. Okay. Well, so these, are the, these are all the wrong cards. To being or seasonal fatigue. We don't want to go there yet. All right, I'm just going to do this because I want to see it. I'm going to play this sphere cam bow. Okay. I like that. All right. It's got three arrows on it. You, hey, my goodness. You it's, just can't I'm get away killer. from the bows and arrows. That's it's so true. It's so funny. <laughs> I joked that it, we needed to have bows and arrow in there for you before we started. I had no idea it was real. So I'm going to discard one of these canteens because that's my five there. It's got three charges on it. And I guess I'll put my charge tokens. I've got arrows. I can focus. Hey, it comes with the arrows. That's right. This is a noon bow. You don't have to find the arrows for it. Uh, add damage equal to your effort to a being. And cards between you and that being do not fatigue you. So that's pretty fascinating. <clears throat> that's pretty cool. Uh, all the prayer now in the middle not engaged with you. Now why would that be? Because something triggered. This did at the very beginning. This one. No. No, it was this it was this thing. It says move all prey along the way. So that's only prey that's here moves to us. It doesn't move all the prey to the along the way section. I think it moves all the prey that's along the way to within reach of us. That that's that's what I would uh, assume. Unless it all moves to the middle. So Andrews is it moving all prey on the board to the middle or is it moving all prey in the middle to us? We'll wait for that answer. We'll also, that answer, yeah. worth knowing too. So we do at the end of each round have the option, even still, to clear the entire board. Yeah. By leaving, we can but blow it up. This is too attractive. Yeah. Uh, add a, the color disc we're using as our resources. So each character comes with one of these resource cards. This is how many of each of those resource types you get at the start of the round. Um, so when like I'm taking a focus test, which is the blue one. I have these resources I'm using over here um, to signify it. Yeah. Um, OK, well, we'll see where. OK, it all goes to the middle. That's right. So Andrew said this all goes. OK. But so then, so that'll happen at the start of the round. Then I got that one creature. Then you drew the card. If there is another uh, Lutron play, move it within reach, which there is. And then that guy says if there's another one, move it within reach. Yeah, I think that's right. And then the one stays out. 
Does that seem right to you? When I took that bat test? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah. So one out and two on. I'll take it. All right, so now I've got to, I played my bow, and then I'm going to send it back over to you. Okay. Well, I'm going to take this fit test to try to lead. Or well, we, the problem with leading. I can just exhaust it, too. If you want me to do the exhaust, use one length and exhaust it. That seems good, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to take a... Awareness test? Mm, what are you going to find? I'm going to try to exhaust this thing. Nice. Yeah. So I'm taking an awareness test of one. And I can commit extra. Yeah, I might just be exhausting this thing too. Let's just try to one, one on one this. One, and this is a green test. I got a zero, so I succeeded. Then we're going to trigger these icons. Ooh, so the things are going to get weird, man. Urgency, this happens. Mm -hmm. If there are other active loot tunnels that exhaust each of them and this bean suffers one, you suffer one injury. There, there, okay. So this that would have exhausted all the loot tunnels. Well, yeah. So like, re do this one injury to you. Get your little uh, damage. Damage, yeah. Yeah, that would have been bad if they were all standing up. Well, no, okay, it would have exhausted all of them. Okay, and yeah. then you take one. That's right. So they attack but, you as like a swarm. But that's basically. Good. Uh, there's an active predator. There isn't an active predator. Active prey. Nope. No predator or prey. This puffer crawl is just a flora. But then it has this. If it's unattached, attach it to my roll card. Ugh. So I'm like puffer oh, that's crawl. That's true. This says if there are other active lutrinals, there aren't. Oh, there weren't, because you exhausted yeah. it. Yeah, good for you. All right, and then this is if this floor is unattached, attach it to your roll. And then anytime I draw the sun, I'm going to take fatigue now, because it's attached to me. Oh, and there's no way to get rid of it. Well, I think I can still shoot in this stuff. <laughs> but it's just like crawling all over me and creeping me out Yeah, fully. I'm grossed out by it already. OK, over to me. Well, you know, I want to take. Well, but now it's not in your way. Technically not. So you could just like take your fit test. Technically it's not. So maybe I'll just take my fit test. And just be one with the puffer crawler until That's the right. end of time. Oh, uh, sure. What does that require? I don't have any of those stupid compass things. Do you have any way to, to get this? Icon? Well, yeah, but I can't get it to you. Yeah. I might just start soothing fatigue and hoping there's some in here. Because I don't have it. Well, I could fish. I don't have any focus live because I played that bow. And then I have ways of getting focus back, but I want to. Now, I might fish. There we go. Which would soothe and add one food token, which I won't get to use because it'll bounce once we go there. These are good questions. I could take the YOLO swim test, but that's not that's not good math there. I think I'm just gonna have to try to connect with myself. Hmm. And then de fatigue. I can so my options are like connect to try to get one or two of these cards and see if I can get a fitness icon or something that's gonna buff this fitness test. Um then other options are I can take an awareness observe to exhaust a being. Now, you could also maybe clear this, right? We need two more. Mm -hmm. If you're going to connect with something, maybe our tail will help us in some way. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right, let's try to connect with that guy. Or Vera is the same way, right? Because you can just try to connect with her. Our concern is that we're going to have to travel whenever we hit oh, the Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right, that's, right, yeah. that's right. We need to get down there. We need to get to the bubble. But this fit test is very difficult for me to do. We're not prepared for this. You can't move me there in any way. You're, mm -hmm. What kind of an explorer are you? Just explore yourself? Well, I went down there to say, hey, yeah, come on. It's good down here. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
Oof, no predators or prey. I've got all these plants that I'm working with. Hmm. Uh, I mean, you, do you have anything else to do with your fit tokens? Not really. Because you can take a two and try to get a plus one. Yeah, I mean, that would be this, basically. Yeah. Suffer an injury is likely. Oh, if you fail, I didn't know that. Yeah. Part. And the traverse, we don't really need because the landscape feature is good. I think talking to Artel is probably the best. So I'm just going to go two spirit there. All right, let's go. And then I'll give a plus one for three because I'm going to add equal to my effort. That's good. Three yep. and then the minus one will be fine. So, all right. Let's do a three there on the minus one. That's why we do it. So let's go ahead and resolve that test. Successful effort is three. Okay, so two would go on. Yeah. So we would clear it, strike up a conversation, story 223. Let's talk. Let's and have a if chat. If we clear this, well, we'll see what this story says. Artel befriended. Go to 224. That's funny. Artel laughs and shakes their head, causing their bushy hair to fluff out even more. It's been fun talking with you. They clasp your shoulder, then a contemplative look crosses their face. Actually, I've been hearing tell of some amazing fishing spots across the lake at the Golden Shore. Would you be willing to accompany me there? I'd sure appreciate a ranger escort. We can agree to help remove all but one progress from Artel, write down befriended Artel, or we can say not today, clear Artel as normal, and each ranger soothes one fatigue. Now, here's the crazy thing. We remove all but one progress and befriend Artel. Then if we do it again, we go to 224 because he's now our friend after we resolve it. There's you know, so you know, much here. You know here. what we're doing. There's so much here. It's driving me insane. All right. I'm, I say we go down to one. And I'm gonna write down we befriended our tail because that'll stick. That'll stick even to yeah. Other... Just, I mean, it's probably worth having, you know. Who needs to find this person whenever there's fishermen about? This is exactly how I play. Now that said, games. I do think if we had moved along here faster, we would have the opportunity to do more of these because yeah. we would oh, yeah. go somewhere else where you know got and get away from these crazy vine things. All right, then we gotta do the crest. Urgency of the task, as we you know. How proud we are. Uh, if there are other active, no. they're not active. No, active, no, active, no. Uh, that doesn't matter. Okay, so all good. Test complete. Okay, so over to me. Why don't you see some fatigue from me, huh? I'm looking at it. You gonna fish? Get some. Uh, I think I am gonna fish. Yeah, two fatigue there, and maybe I can then take that fit test. We can get down into the bubble. And then we can befriend the, the guide and get out of here. Let's, uh, maybe. Let's, um, focus. I'm gonna go fishing with our friend. Yeah. Two, four. Mm. You're uh, enthralling the fisher. Yeah. Fisher so folk. let's test. Four minus one. So I succeed. And you, your uh, effort is three at this point. Effort is three. So it's just successful. Um, one ranger sees two fatigue, so I'll give you two cards. <laughs> ah, yes. And then I'll put a token on my trail mix. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then we trigger the icon. The I key I cannot think of I'm bad at that. I didn't know the aspects in Arkham for Oh Crest, yeah. Crest. Um Man. Urgency of task waves. I suffer fatigue. <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing. nothing, nothing. Um, the, and then you get yeah, the crest, okay. Yeah, That's and I succeeded a focus test, so this insightful will come back to my hand. I like that card. I like that card a lot. Okay. Um, I'm just going to try to try to YOLO that fit test, I think, is where we're at, man. I, there's nothing in my hand that can help me with this, mm -hmm. which is a real, it's a real bummer. Okay. All right, I got a lot of game left. I mean, worst case scenario, what I take a take an injury. You got two. You got three to give. How many plus ones are even in here? We've already seen one plus one fitness. Ugh. Nothing to to, to pump fitness. Nothing. Uh, nothing to to make things good. Boy, if it succeeds though, it's great. I'm very thoughtful. It's just not helpful right now. Being thoughtful sometimes is not what you need, you know. 
You need to swim. Uh, okay. Well, let's do it. Do I even have? Or, you know what? No. First, let's try to search in our pockets. As... Yeah, smart. Because you might have a card that gives you the fits. That you yeah. Need. No, I can't buff it because this is the icon I need. But let's see if we get a minus one. Our pockets are still empty. It's just there's no pockets here. And then we have mountain is going to resolve. So remove a rain token. Trail goes cold. Doesn't matter. If there's an active predator, there is not. And that's all. Oh. And if it's unattached, nope, that doesn't count either. Pockets, nothing in those pockets. All right, mine? Got pouches, but you know. Let's take a spirit test. I'm going to try to connect. And I will add one. And we're going to try to connect here. Yeah, so I'm at two. And a plus one. Oh, Get three. out of town. You did it. Succeeded by three. No way. So we're going to add three, right? No, add. Yeah, yeah, equal, equal to, to your effort. effort. So we'll add three you did it. Oh my to gosh. Artel. We befriended we'll go him. back to 223. Artel gives you their usual grin, fishing pole in hand. We had talked about heading to Golden Shore to check out the fishing this time of day. You still interested in accompanying me in that direction? We can agree to help. Remove all but one. Write down, uh, befriended Artel. I already did that. Not today. Clear as normal. Each ranger soothes one fatigue. So I'm going to guess... Oof. We already wrote down we were from Dartel, right? You, did you go to whatever that... 223? Uh-huh. And it told you to go to 223. Yeah, but I don't think that's right. Let's see if we, we can get a different... I, I'm going to guess that it would take us to the other one. And there's a couple I of... I see Andrew in there trying to... Yeah, there's a couple of other ones. Yeah, Andrew, let us know if that... Um, if that cha if that's changed on the campaign guide. Andrew, taught, before we said anything, saying they're searching for someone that's missing. They've just been distracted. Yeah, we've been very, very distracted. Yeah, because I assume something happens differently yeah. here. So we'll see how that resolves. But ultimately, this bubble plan is, is, not, is not looking good for me, man. Well, let's trigger some sun. Uh, move one trail token from a PG to another. Nope. If there's another loot from one play, move it within reach. There's not. Uh, nothing else triggers. Yeah. Okay. So at this point, it's really about hitting that plus one fitness test. That's right. Andrew says that's right. Artel is asking you to take them to Golden Shore. Well, do we, we don't want to leave, do we? But it doesn't say to go. All right. Well, sure. So we'll we, take we'll take them with us. Clear the clear the progress. We've already wrote down we befriended Artel, so I'm not gonna unless we write it down twice. Super friend, super friends of Artel. <laughs> That's confusing. Yeah, and then the bubble is gonna be my next. Uh, okay, thing. so uh, when you chat with them after befriending them, you can choose to keep them in play or clear them to keep them safe. So I should mm -hmm. go and clear them. Okay, yeah. So it's cleaned up now. The campaign guy's good. Clear as normal and sue the fatigue. And I assume is he our friend moving forward? Yes. Like we, we before it down in the campaign, campaign log. Yeah. But if we clear him, we're telling him not today. We don't want to go to Golden Shore with him today. We clear him and we sue the fatigue. Or we can keep him around, agree to help, and he'll come with us kind of as we go along. Oh, because he's persistent. Way. He's persistent and we can keep using his fish action to keep catching fish along the way. That's kind of interesting, actually. Or we could sue the fatigue, which is kind of relevant. Depending on what this card so is. So I said we leave them. What does it say? Clear our cell. Each ranger sue the fatigue. Got it. So we can clear them out, get a fatigue. I don't think we have time. I think we clear them out. Yeah, I think we clear them out. Right, we clear them out. We well, you sue the person. fatigue. We gotta find See if you can get a fit card. Find no, I did. Really? Yeah, it's a plus one. So I just need to hit a minus one now. I like that. You ready for bubble time? Our dream might have just come true. <laughs> Let's try. All right, I'm going to take this fit test on the bubble. I'm going to commit vigilant. Three to three. Okay. Ugh. Let there be rain. Who said this doesn't feel? This is stressful. You know what I mean? Well, it's stressful in a different way, right? It's not stressful for survival. It's stressful for, are we going to get to see the things we want to see? This feels like an Arkham test. Because I... if we don't, then we're either going to have to come back or I don't never know. I don't want to fail this. I don't want to fail this test. It's so nerve wracking. Well, there's, the card's not going to change. 
What color test is red? Red. Ah! And that's a minus one! The Arkham Gods have forsaken us. It's fine. Take an injury. Can't, I can't swim. The man can't swim. He takes an injury. And then we trigger all of the, uh, the mountains, and then we reshuffle the challenge deck. Uh, this removes a rain token, and everybody suffers a fatigue. Don't sleep on your fatigue from the rain. Trail token doesn't matter. Active predator doesn't matter. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I don't take fatigue from the weather because oh. I'm in the bubble. Dang it. Dang it. Andy Fisher, you're going to have to swim down there next time you're in town. Uh, no, I'm, we got to try that again. I mean, this is the whole, I'm here to get in that bubble. We, we have committed. All of these cards can't help me do it. Yeah. But I wish I was in there. Mine? But I'm very thoughtful. Yes, go ahead. And I'm going to have to roll. I'm going to have to rest at this point. I'm going to use the fit action here to lead. I have oh. nothing left to do with these. So I'll lead ahead by one. Yeah. Got a plus one. <laughs> well, so uh, sad. So it succeeded. So it says move the attached beam. So sad. So I'm going to move it up here. Yeah. So I don't have to deal with it next round. Um, then these icons trigger urgency of the task. Ugh. Got it. Okay, back over to you. Um, I got nothing left. I'm gonna rest. All right, I'm the same way. So read everything. Right. Uh, I'm down to four cards. Draw one card. Good luck to all of us. Yeah. Refill your bank. Refill the bank. Wow, that's interesting. Three, one. Draw a card. I don't know why that was exhausting. Um, all right, and then other things that happen at the end of the round. Everything ready. Refill. And then I've got the entry. This goes back in. Everything is ready, doing its thing, and then we both draw a path card. Ugh. Right. Here we go. Gross. Tributary stream, obstacle. Mm -hmm. It's that thing from earlier. You can soak to uh, do the thing, or you can uh, follow the trail to add progress to the current landscape. Those compass icons, man. That's the way of the world there. Oh, no. A Lutrinal Holt. A feature? A water structure? Enders play, search the path deck, and discard pile for a romping Lutrinal and put it into play. We may have them all. We've got them all. That's right. Who's laughing now? Uh, shuffle the path deck. And then we can add lures to it by coaxing. And then for each lure, shuffle one into the path deck whenever we clear it. Oh, nice. That so would have been nice to have. lure them into their den. Yeah, this is, but then they're just going to be the next, which it's not terrible. Yeah. I mean, I could do that literally three times. And then we could shuffle them all back in. Mm-hmm. Mm, but the yeah yeah okay so that's not terrible and it comes in with two things so we could actually find dude if we clear this we could find our person also there's a million different branches oh to there this. it is okay and we just we clear this one by both going there right mm-hmm and then this one we can clear it just with traverse how do you get there I can either take that spirit test or that focus test both, both of them move you there? Both, it says it literally moved your ranger token to this feature. Mm. Okay. Can you do one of those? I can do both of them. Either of them. Because I want to clear these before the weather takes them away. Yeah, we know we know how that's going to go, though. So I can move there with my free action. on mm -hmm. you. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, away from the bubble, huh? Yeah. I mean, we just the gotta, bubble plan is gone. You're not fit enough. It's yeah. You, you can't you can't guy. get underwater. He's very he's very thoughtful though. Um, then is my swim to save his life. My actual action. I kind of don't want to take a test because if I do, it could re <coughs> but, yeah, it could it, remove those things. It could cause problems. So I'm going to try to find something to do that won't do that. In Play a, a card. Uh, first, though, I can use this, and then I can get two cards because you only have one. Mm -hmm. two. So mm -hmm. I'm going to use the trail mix to get two cards. Wise. Wow. Okay. 
Um, so really, playing a card is how I don't take a test. My kingdom for a compass card, Zach. But I don't want to spend money. I don't want to spend money. Sometimes you gotta spend that multi-tool. I'm I'm so jealous of you. It's powerful. Give me that multi-tool. Well, I just want to build a character now. I think I am gonna just test to try to exhaust this thing. Okay. Because I'm gonna have to do it. Well, what's the worst thing to happen? You take one fatigue. Well, the worst thing that would happen is it removes one from each of these, or removes one trail token. But we do it. Yeah, it's fine. What if you just don't? What What's the other option there? I don't really have another option. I have to do something. Right, you do have to do something. Yeah. Do you want to play anything? Can't play anything? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we should try to find... Maybe we should just Vera up. See what happens. And go away? Well, we don't even know what it does, you know? Yeah, I feel like I want to... Help navigate the lake. I don't know. Yeah, charter the boat. I like this a lot. Okay. Let's try, but we know what's going to happen. We're going to get that rain thing, and then we're going to remove one, and it's going to be all for nothing. Maybe. That's fine. Uh, so let's do the uh, spirit test. Trying to get this thing exhausted. Connect with it. Connect it. And I can test it must hard. be exhausting. I can also whip out the short bow and give it the what for. <laughs> I'll just take the test. Try to deal with these things. Two... Minus one, so I do succeed, and we get the sun. Mm. So that'll be good. So the first thing is I'll exhaust here. Then we'll trigger the sun. Uh, move one trail token from a feature to another feature. Yes. Correct. Um, <laughs> if there is another Lucian on play, move it within reach. So we'll go here. Hmm. Sun, 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 sun. If, there's, a, if there's another Lucian on within play, move it within reach. Ugh. Okay. New party like a Lutronal party. It's fine. And then my puffer crawler says, add, uh, if it's attached to me, it fatigues me. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, well, it's now, now or never. So we go here, right? If you go there, we clear it. Yeah. Choose your, choose your poison. Surely I can, yeah, I can't afford to miss this test. Do not miss Straight it. up. So it's all three focus on this. I'm very focused. And I have no buffs for it in my hand. So, three to two. Yeah, zero. And we got the red. Hey, that's, that's going to be OK for us. So test succeeds. I get to move this here. Add two. Oh, hold on. Is that true? And a fish hand. The puff crawler is a presence, too, so you'd have to suffer two fatigue from it. Oh. To do anything with it? All right, well, change your plans. Yeah, shuffle these up. So it's still in my way. It's not just attached to me. I mean, I guess being attached to something is that makes some necessarily a bit in your way by nature. OK. So the proper crawler needs to die. My instincts were right. <laughs> Kill him. So let's do bow. Shoot. Uh, and then it's got a presence of two, which I guess doesn't matter. It's actually just a test of one. Oh, Andrew's saying, no, it's not in your way. Two fatigue from the challenge effects. Challenge effects? What are you What's talking that? about? Yeah, it says it's attached to my roll that fatigues me. So I got that one from our little, our little uh, sun exhaustion thing. So let's kill it. One, two, three, four. Let's do it like that. All right, three up. Take a shot at this guy. Now, it's going to, between you and that being equal to your effort. So my effort's three, and it can go down to a two, potentially. But it's going to be a plus one. Oh, and you're saying when the sun effect says that it fatigues you, you suffer fatigue equal to its presence. 
So then, then actually taking the test here makes more sense now because it, it's not in your way once it's attached to you. It's not in my way. Yeah. Okay. So I think you should actually try to take this test instead of whatever you We're want back. To do. Yeah. Put this back. He's back in. Try this again. <laughs> Peter says, wait a minute. Steven's shooting things with a bow. Maybe I've tuned in on Arkham Monday. Or Marvel or Monday. Marvel Monday. Or, or Azalea. Flesh and Blood. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to take that focus test of the stream. But if we hit the sun, I'm, I'm out. I'm going to take fatigue again. Them's the beats. Because, like, the other thing we could do here, if anyone hits a sun, I mean, I could just go in on Vera right now. Take that spirit test. I can get to a four. And, ooh, discard any one water obstacle. So we discard this, get one off of that. Would it? Yes, yeah, so it discard any one water obstacle. And whenever, uh, Whenever you clear a card, is it clearing it though? Ooh, I don't know if it's clearing it. I think it's just discarding it. I think it's just discarding it. Okay. Well, really the question is Vera or try the, the long ball here on the search and rescue mission. I mean, you are about to go away. I'd try Vera at this very second. Let's do Vera, man. Let's do Vera. Let's see what's going on with Vera. All right, two, and I'm empathetic. Going to four. Ah, oh, yeah. Four to three. Let's see if I empathy my way right out. Oh yeah, I'm out of here. But in the process, we're gonna we're gonna clear Veer here. So test is successful. And then we clear with chart of the boat to another location. Let's check out four. 20. You move down the dock and find Vera cleaning the deck of her seed barge. She looks up and sighs. You ready? You may immediately end the round and travel to one of the following locations. Choose which path deck to use at your destination as if it were your starting location during setup. Lone Tree, Golden Shore, or Aatrox Mountain. So if we end the round immediately, do you not take the sound I would technically not take, but I mean, I'm... I'm headed. I'm headed for disaster. Actually, I think because I'm injured, I would also convert that to fatigue. Mm. So I don't think there's any way, any way out. What the other option? Uh, we can immediately end and travel to Lone Tree, Golden Shore, Aatrox Mountain. Yeah. No. Nope. Don't want it. I mean, if we travel, we're gonna have to set up a thing just for you to end the. Session. Well, I mean, that'll be the end of the stream, basically. Yeah. But we would start the next one at Lone Tree, Golden Shore, Aatrox, if we wanted to start oh. there instead of coming back here to this I'm, godforsaken <laughs> lake. I'm OK with that. You want to like go to Golden Shore? Sure. It looks nicer, doesn't it? it? Looks nicer than lake the lake situation. Well, I'm go happy going there. Or, or Aatrox is fine, let's go to, Let's go to Golden Shore. Okay, so we're going. gonna immediately end the round. Yeah, we're gonna go to Golden Shore. Gonna, and then we choose which path deck to use at your destination. If you were, it were your starting location during setup, which means we can use any path cards that connect to it. So, so we can do water, water, or forest. So I say next time we use Golden Shore Forest. Yeah, to get a completely different deck feel. I like it. That's okay. reasonable. All right, then let me see what happens. So we end the round, and then, uh huh. In the round. Let's see where round is. Okay. Not around, not surroundings. Draw, ranger turns, travel, refresh. Okay, so ending the round is basically when we pass on both of our turns, right? Yeah. So then we both draw a card. And as yeah. soon as you draw a card, we're off to the races. Rusty, you may decide to agree if you'd like to travel. So we don't technically travel. Nope. Just don't need to worry about that. We do build our path deck. And then we refresh themselves, draw a card, and then I'm out. As soon as you can't draw cards. So then what happens? Ending the day. The day can end in several different ways. Uh, Ranger too tired. I think that's what it would be. Yep. Uh, no, that's third injury. 
If a ranger suffers... No, two injured. Yeah, you're right. Their third injury of the day ends. Technically, it doesn't end until I have to draw, and I can't. So we end the round. Technically, we're still alive, I think. And then uh, I'm not too tired. At the end of any round, we can decide to camp for the night to end the day, which I think is fi a fine thing to do. Yeah. You know what? Actually, if we end the round, you draw, and it doesn't force us to end, we have the choice to end. That's right. It's our choice. It's not the game's choice. Which I think we should choice. do, because I don't want to have set up the new deck. To then just have like half yeah, a round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so, so resting is actually what converts injuries into fatigue. But we didn't technically rest. There you go. So if you chose to rest, you could have converted your injury into fatigue. Which I don't really want to do. No, I mean, but otherwise, what, is it going to stick with me? Just hurt? I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. On a boat, bleeding? But you can basically do that any session, right? Yeah. It's like you can, your last action of a round, convert it into a fatigue. Yeah. Which, when you're not at the end of your deck, is better. So then what happens at the end of the day? All right. So then we end the day. Let's end the day. Uh, okay. When the day ends, your current play session is over, and one day of campaign time passes. Check off the next day on the campaign tracking sheet. Save your current landscape by either storing it on top of the landscape deck or writing it down on the campaign sheet. The rest of the game materials can be packed up and returned to normal storage locations. What's the current landscape? The current landscape would be Golden Shore. Oh, okay. You yeah, want to take yeah, a quick yeah. peek at Golden Shore? All right, so we're on day one. We yeah. have one day, and then landscape is Golden Shore. Yep. Yeah. And you know what? I'll just read you. Let's let's read you from 500. Because is that the story entry from Golden Shore? Yes. Oh, is Artel in play? He's not. No. We got rid of him. Go to 501. Mistakes. So oh, look, look, see, this is relevant. Okay, we got it. We got to cover this. Check this out. So, so this is great. If Artel is in play and you've recorded Artel befriended, go to 501. 501 gives us some story cues, but then the most devastating thing of all: gain the Artel's vaulting rod reward oh, card. Oh no! What have we done? Dang it! <laughs> we had we had him sitting here. Dang it! Oh. No. So to get that, now we know we'd have to go back to White Sky. Yeah. Find Artel. We'll find him. Then get a progress on him. Yeah. Then travel. He's already befriended, and then we got to travel to Golden Shore. And then yeah. get back to Golden Shore. Yeah. To then trigger that and get those cards. But we could do that. Yeah. This is a game that is going to destroy me with how much I want to do everything. The, the FOMO is going to be <laughs> intense. I got to know what that rod does. I absolutely do. Just straight up. So new mission. We'll find this person eventually, I'm sure. So we did befriend him, Wirewing, but he also has to be in play. Yeah, he's got to be in play. Yeah, which we chose to clear him. Thinking we were going to... Soothing and fatigue because yeah. we were about to hit the bubble and, you know, everything everything broke yeah. down. Okay, well, let's, what's the end of the campaign, or the end of the day procedure? Uh, so, Golden Shore, wherever sunlight may kiss the shoreline, you can see how the Golden Shore earned its name. Countless flecks of gold glitter beneath the water, sparkling through the light reflected off the surface. A breeze comes in, causing the grass to rustle with a soft hiss. Nice. Much nicer. And, and then that's it. does anything Every else happen? So, this... Has this opportunity to find the missing person hasn't passed us? I don't think it's passed us. No. So, like in the campaign, it would be like this is the current mission, which is now the thing search. is I don't know if the tokens stay on it though. I don't think it does. They probably don't. No, I you think you got to start resets. over on yeah. your search because now we're like yeah. somewhere else. So next time on Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> I'm interested in. Oh, you know what's crazy about Golden Shore? What's that? To get back to White Sky. There's not a path. You have to go to Aatrox Mountain and then back to White Sky. Yeah. Unless the boat is the boat is the, are they just dropping us off and leaving? They're I assume dropping us off yeah. and leaving. Yeah. And th what's crazy about that is now knowing what we know about White Sky, Vera is a really convenient way to go from White Sky to Golden Shore. Mm -hmm. And so, or like the Aatrox Mountain or whatever. There was three different the, options. This one. This is in between those two. And you can go Lone Tree. It's so we can one. always go back and try to find Vera and get to the. Chopper, but basically. we have to find Vera and our friend, mm -hmm. and then complete Vera to travel there, or just get our friend and then take one and one. But like, see, like if this wasn't here, the search mission thing, we we would still be doing everything that we just did. 
there just wouldn't be a search mission. Yeah. But we would literally just be like, let's try to find that fisherman and go get that yeah. fishing rod. And uh, honestly, just now knowing what we know about the story, it's like, okay, we need at some point to bring our tell the Golden Shore. We have to. But we don't have to do it immediately. In my mind, next session, we'll start at Golden Shore with the forest. So we're going to see totally different stuff. Yeah. And then I'm going to try. I really want to complete the search mission. Yeah, let's see if we can you know, find the Meantime, person. if we can start making our way back, post-search mission, if we happen to find ourselves back at White Sky, I would like to try to get the Artel thing completely. I like that, too. But it's like, as an example, in my little campaign, guys, like, get Artel to Golden Shore. Yeah. It's like a sub-goal for me. That's right. Now, normally, I don't think, you know, we wouldn't know that unless we looked at something we shouldn't be reading. Well, no, on the Golden Shore entry, it says, if Artel is in play and you have recorded... Go to 501. Go we don't 501. know what would be there, but yeah. we happen to have read that we yeah. could get something. And you could do that if you were playing. You could yeah. look at the things. But most importantly, it's like we know something happens when you bring Artel there. Yeah. Which I'm now immediately peaked. I mean, how do you not try to do all of it? That's why I don't, you know? I think over time, you just aren't going to be capable. So you, you are just going to have to be in character and do what you feel like you want to do. But there's also, regardless of the main mission, you can literally just not accept a future mission and then just like travel around get to know all the different characters and what they're up to and try to go take them and little well, side quests and stuff. I'm not sure and Andrew and Andrew or Andrew in chat you can answer this if you want but I think the, there is always a mission mm -hmm. when you're playing the campaign and you don't ever have to do it but there are consequences like if we never find this person there might be a certain number of days pass and it's a problem like, I think if it's, like, it's the third day, whenever you complete this, is different than if it's the first day, if you find them immediately. Exactly. It's, yeah. like, if one to two days has passed, if two, three to six days has passed. Or if it's the sixth day and, you you know, you find a corpse floating down a white sky tributary. Then you know what like, happened. Yeah. I think we should have worked faster on this. Yeah. That's really interesting. So, uh, uh, well, this well, was pull, pull this was crazy. I, I definitely, wow. uh, it, it took me a minute to understand the underlying systems and some of the stuff about the way the testing worked and mm -hmm. what it meant. And that's just, th that is going to happen anytime you're playing a game you've never played. I've never read a rule book. You were at one pass through the rule book. Mm -hmm. You got to get it on the table. Even reading the rule book at this point would be so much more enlightening on yeah. like what's trying trying to happen. But fundamentally, it was, it was really, uh, when they say, you know, uh, you can't lose, um, it's, yeah, it's it doesn't. It's not what it feels like because the reality of oh, this is yours. Thanks. Um, like I feel like there's so much that I want to accomplish that I didn't get to accomplish yet, and so there's devastating. there's going to be this backlog of like I wish I had completed these things. Yeah, and so it's not. Uh, I I neither feel like there was like insane success on <laughs> our part. Uh, we we befriended Artel. That's basically That's one all of the we main did, things we did. Yeah. Uh, and we learned the game. And we ended up in Golden Shore. Which is helpful. That's the two things we did. Yeah. Uh, so where that takes us from here, I don't know. Um, but it was really cool. I, I, I am definitely very intrigued. Yeah, so different, right? Yeah. It is really genuinely different and super interesting. Like I, knowing how the tests work now and knowing the cards and kind of getting a feel for my deck a little bit more and what you know what you can do with the cards that you have and what you're going to draw into and what's available like all that kind of stuff gets us really excited gets me really excited i would say about how now to actually play this deck well understanding what i'm looking for with this pocketed belt pouch that i'm going to get the short bow that i have three focus so i can play the short bow play that early have an ability to hit these puffer crawlers or whatever that are just really a complete pain. Um, universal power cells and where those are going to end up. And you kind of just start to understand. That's why if I had built this deck from the ground up, you think about character creation in this, you have this like amazing story and you know the cards that you've picked and why you have them in the deck and whatnot. And then you get to actually like go play with that. And it looks like the progression elements are going to be finding stuff like this fishing rod that you add to your deck rather than like suddenly I'm a different person because I like learned he, or X, this y, expansion came out and I added these cards to my deck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like you got to earn because it, and I'm, I don't know if this is true or not, but it seems like if we can earn cards, like through the Artel interaction that like the more you can modify your deck in that way. Yeah. The more exciting that is to me. Yeah. 
Because, you know, I've... Because I've, you're a story, right? It's like, I yeah. remember Artel. Like, oh, yeah, we, we got him. And if you fishing. have those fishing rods, right? Yeah. T- t- two years from now, it's like you remember how you got those. Yeah, I love it. Um, versus just, you know, building optimized sweet decks or whatever. And I, making deck building, that's one of my favorite parts of Arkham, even though it's lighter and that you can just use experience to buy whatever you want. But that you're basically upgrading your character over time. Mm-hmm. Um, or changing them over time, yeah. Instead of just you know maximizing them, yeah. And you th- and you like you get injury cards. We saw the injury cards can go in. Like if you get three injuries, then you get an injury card that goes into your deck. So like you'll draw it and be like, oh, I remember that time that I fell in the water, you know, or like failed that that test trying to get into the bubble and it just yeah. wrecked me. We never even That's a bummer. You could imagine being three months from now and having never made it in the bubble. Yeah. It drive, oh, it'll drive you crazy. It's like, hey, we're going back to White Sky to get into that bubble. It'll drive you crazy. Um, I love it. So if you're watching, and we're going to be playing the next couple of weeks, I think next week uh, we'll obviously already have a familiarity with the rules. We're going to be exploring the Golden Shores, and who knows where, where else we end up. Um, and but, story prompts that will aggravate us yeah, to know where it will take us. Uh, but we, we are planning to play the next two weeks, so uh, hopefully we'll see some of you there. Also worth noting, I'm going to share it again in the chat. Um, this uh, this game is on Kickstarter right now. Uh, it's by a good friend of ours, Andrew, and doing some really cool stuff beyond just the game and the approach uh, to the industry. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely recommend it. And uh, if you dig it, back it, and we'll yeah. make this thing happen. Dig it, back it. Super cool. Hey, thanks, everybody, for uh, joining us. We'll see you next week on another episode of Trying to Befriend the Locals. That's right. <laughs> Take care. Take care.